blend and season. My name is Connor Vagel, Vagel, Vagel. I'm going to be your play-by-play -play caster for today's action between Northern Illinois University and the Central Michigan University Chippewas. This is a momentous occasion for us here at Northern Illinois as we're really excited that today is the first day of our Varsity League of Legends program. Our, technically, we should say it's our first comp competition of the Varsity side. Uh, this season, we're going to be running it as kind of like a, an exhibition season. Um, so we are part of the Esports Collegiate Conference. That we're going to be doing the um, Esports Collegiate Conference uh, partner conference for the League of Legends season this year. Uh, this is my good friend Quinn uh, Alpha Squirtle eighty one Mundorf. He's going to be doing the uh, the color commentary for us today. Quinn, what are you looking forward to most in this game between Central Michigan and Northern Illinois? Well, thanks. First of all, thanks for having me here, Connor. Uh, really looking forward to the. Uh, I think the mid lane matchup should be interesting. Okay. Give me a little right, more there, room. There we go. Here. Give him a little more room. All right. Uh, now I'm way far off. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, uh, so we've got, yes, uh, we've got a great matchup today. Uh, let's take a look at the lineup that NIU is going to be fielding. If uh, We may have one slight technicality issue, so we may have Quinn uh, jumping in here. So uh, traditionally what the lineup would look like this week is going to be uh, up in the top lane. Uh, it would be, why am I drawing blanks on this? I had this practiced. All right. It would be, uh, what is Shane? Magic? Sh yeah, Shane Magic My uh, Meyer. Um, and it looks like we're still waiting on him to get online. I don't know that I have him on my friends list, though, is a big thing. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so, we've got Shane Magic Meyer. We've got Jeremy PCH. Uh, what's his last name? It's Nathan. No. Jeremy, Jeremy. Oh, Stigmuller, Stig Stigmuller, my bad. Um, Jeremy Stigmuller, it's not it's just between Northern okay. Illinois University uh, and also got the Central uh, Michigan University uh, Chippewas. In the middle this is it's gonna be a momentous uh, occasion for us here at Northern Illinois, 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 um, for so Central Michigan, we do have in the top lane conference that we're going to be doing uh, the Esports uh, Collegiate Conference will be uh, partner conference for Crazy the Goose of the season this year. Uh, this is my good oh, friend Quinn, gonna uh, Elf Scorer 81 okay. Wonder. He's going to be doing the, uh, yeah, the we'll color commentary for us today. Quinn, what are you looking forward to most in this game between Central Michigan and Illinois? First of all, thanks for having me and their support. Really looking forward uh, to the, Interesting uh, here because we did look at the matchup earlier, okay. and it looks like we may have had uh, some right, substitutes. There, there we go. Give him a little bit of what the roster looks right. like right now. Uh, um, currently sitting. Okay. Anyway. Four anyway. Uh, so Eight we've guys, got yes. We uh, um, we've got a great matchup prime, today. So uh, again, let's where, take where a we look at the lineup that NIU is going to be fielding. If we may have one slight technicality issue, I know that we have two ranked members here in the crane here. So. Typically Traditionally, what the lineup would look like this back. week is going to be where do we uh, think up in the top uh, lane. Where do we think uh, this it would go today? be. Uh, why am I drawing Looks blanks like on this? I had this practice. All right. It would be. Uh, what is Shane? Magic. Yeah, Shane the Magic Meyer. And it looks like we're still waiting on everybody to understand. Let's make sure that you guys can see this progress today. We have. There it is for you. We are just doing it through the. So. We've got uh, Shane Magic Meyer. We've got Jeremy PCH. So we will wait uh, on that Nixon thing. Uh, we want to say a thank you, as you guys saw in the top right there. No. A great thank you to uh, Sting Muller. 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 Sting Muller.
the same as earlier. Uh, and it looks like we may have had uh, some of the There we go. Let's give him a little bit uh, of If you guys haven't noticed right right now, we are going to be on currently uh, six. Okay. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so we've got, yes, uh, we will have all um, jungle. Uh, we've got a great matchup today. Uh, let's take a look at this matchup. And I usually be feeling it. Why don't you take a second and talk about the house? I know that we have a great matchup this year. Jump in green here. I know that. Traditionally, what the line would look like this week is going to be the top lane. Uh, so we would be uh, 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 start off with uh, drawing this blanks here instead of this practice. Uh, All right, uh, it would be the uh, uh, Shane, yeah, Shane Magic Miles Meyer and his team. So we're just doing a round robin of five games. Let's make sure that you guys can see this progress today.
Island is going to be the one taking off the board. So that is going to be something that's been very strong with the Storm Razor lately. Uh, we'll see exactly how that ends up playing in on this one. Last band, what do you think might be the band here on this one, Quinn? Probably going to target the mid lane again. Just take out another one of the strong mid lane champions. Could very well be that. We'll see. Uh, we'll see exactly what that is after five more seconds here, unless that's a Diana ban. Interesting. Is that something that uh, uh, I don't believe Nathan's been practicing Diana? Yeah, so I haven't. I, I haven't, haven't seen very much on the uh, Diana bans lately, but um, interesting Diana. priority there. So yeah, we'll Diana see. might be a good matchup in the bottom here. I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, I haven't practiced the matchup, so um, could be interesting to see how that one goes in. That's going to be the Mordekaiser for Shane locked in most likely. Uh, could could be flex the mid lane, but I'm I'm going to assume yeah. that that's probably up top on that one, which yeah. in in turn would likely put Pantheon into the jungle. I know that's something that uh, PCH uh, has been. I mean, that's where I was expecting a little bit the whole time. Yeah, it it was an expected pickup, but uh, in the end, just in case. But Zach going to be the answer here to that Pantheon. Uh, something it's always hard to uh, to match some of that Zach gank presence. So. We'll see exactly how that plays out. How uh, how Central Michigan finishes off their team comp, this will be that pick. Uh, they're going to need their AD carry here. They definitely have a beefy front line to protect this AD carry. It's going to be a protect the Mr. President comp. Sound is really distorted. That's likely, uh, I'm thinking that that might have been because we had both audios going. So I had the stream audio going as well as the own. If it's still messed up in like minute here let me know um oh, it's looking like it's gonna, gonna be, be actually Kaiser mid with mid, in, interesting. interesting so that uh that's definitely a matchup centric pick here um we'll see exactly how this one plays out uh but that's gonna be yeah. definitely a how this goes once they get into the actual uh, assigning things to people draven out to that tropical Kialoa has left the lobby as well as Akide. So it looks like someone black screened. Okay, so we're gonna do a remake of this lobby. It looks like they have rejoined. They just gotta make sure they're in the correct order on this one. So there we go. They're gonna jump on into spectate and uh, just move everybody into the right order to be in LCS order here. All right, as we see, Close those down real quick. But yes, so this should be very interesting. This is definitely a, a couple of flexible uh, picks, so I, I'm very interested to see who picks them up in the end after Pro Draft. Something's wrong with the audio. Uh, is it still wrong? What's, just wanted to let me know. So something it is. Jess, is something still wrong with the audio? After we uh, attempt to fix it. Draven out. Um, but as we continue, yes, uh, as we continue on, we are going to see those bands as they played out in the pro draft. So there's no difference here to those bands. Uh, we just want to see exactly where things will fall, who's going to pick up what in the end, uh, in terms of the champions. Does look like we still have everybody in those correct positions. Top Kialoa is going to be that support still. Uh, could very well be... We could see, I'm, I'm assuming on the side of Central Michigan, we're probably going to see Orn, uh, Zach, Vladimir, then, oh, my bad, I messed that up there. Ha, didn't realize I did that in the, uh, just looking over at that, forgot to change the scene before I moved that. Anyway, uh, so it does look like that will be Trundle top lane to face off against that Orn. Uh, likely going to be the Pantheon coming in here. Yep, that's going to be the case for the, uh, for PCH. Why Fight Me is going to go ahead and grab the Zack more than likely. Um, let's see how we go. Um, 
We're going to see the Vladimir in the mid lane as we expected. And this is caster's really quiet compared to game sound. I have adjusted that now, so we'll see exactly if that has changed. Uh, thank you, Reka plays games. Uh, Rack, sorry, plays games. Mordekaiser mm -hmm. does look like to be, that's going to be the mid lane pickup for Space Marine 18. Uh, and Nathan has has played a little bit of that. I don't know that it's you know a, a huge comfort pick for him, but uh, judging by you know how much you've seen, where do you um, where do you where do you think this might come in? Well, it's probably just a, a really good answer into Vlad. Is it now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, what what do you think is gonna? How how exactly do you think that's gonna answer everything here in that matchup? Um, well. CNU has a really uh, only really has two damage dealers on a team comp. So if Mortar Kaiser grabs either one of them, all their team damage just gets cut in half basically. Okay. So if he alts either the the Kaisa or the uh, Vladimir, their damage is way down. Yeah, and it's it's kind of interesting uh, looking at this comp that with the um, with such a beefy front line. And only one, you know, true carry coming in through there. Vladimir's going to do damage, obviously. But um, without, you know, a second true, like, glass cannon. Or you'd think that possibly CMU might have put a little bit of emphasis onto doing something along the lines of, you know, a uh, something like a Kog'Maw or something a little more glass cannony in something that, you know, you'd expect in a protect the carry comp. I don't know that I've... I've I don't know that I've always seen a Kaisa necessarily been that hyper carry. Kaisa is like better than Vayne hyper carry. Is she now? Yes. That's you see. Very good this is why he plays on the team, and I am simply the caster because I don't know my matchups well enough to understand that. So, Kaisa apparently a better choice in there. Good, good idea then. Um, so much mobility, stealth, damage. Okay. It's she's got everything really. Interesting. All right then. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, we've got Senna and Sivir in the bot lane, uh, as well as Mordekaiser, Pantheon, Trundle, as we go from bottom to top. And then on the side of Central Michigan, we've got Orn, Zach, Vlad, Kaisa, Nautilus as their lineup. Uh, interesting how we're going to see, uh, we've got to see where those keystones line up, but uh, we can't, we won't quite see that yet. We are waiting on the spectator delay, so we will have about three minutes here that we are just going to wait, and then once we get into game, as has always been the case with NIU esports games, we're going to make sure that we're being right on point of everything um, and following the rulebook by the T. So we will be giving you another two minute delay. So we won't actually switch past the screen for about five minutes. So uh, this gives us plenty of time to talk about the matchups and everything. But we just want you to know that as this continues on, that'll be exactly how everything progresses. So. Uh, the jungle matchup, we do see the Pantheon into the Zac. Uh, Zac going to be heavily ganking. Pantheon's going to have good gank potential as well. Um, I know that the way that we've seen in the past Jeremy play that Pantheon is as a early game jungler. Uh, so kind of matching that Zac aggression. Um, how do you think that's going to impact the lanes early on here? Uh, I mean, I'm expecting Jeremy to go for a really early mid lane gank. Because it's pretty, pretty, re it's really easy to get the setup. Because Pantheon just has to use its W, which will stun him, and then Mordekaiser can just pull him back in and just start wailing on him, and probably be able to kill him pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and then the bot lane matchup here, we do see you know two squishies on the side of NIU, uh, whereas you have that tanky Nautilus going on for Central Michigan. How do we think this is going to impact that lane? Uh, seeing as you know that skill. The, not necessarily the skill, but the ranking uh, in terms of ELO is a little bit lower on that Tropic ELO. Not that that matters as much, but you know, putting them on something tankier, does that impact that matchup as, at all? Well, it's probably going to make the... I know you have to play a bit safer during the laning phase, because if they get hit by one of those Nautilus looks, they might die really mm -hmm. quickly. As mm -hmm. well as there's a good chance Zach will probably prioritize playing around that bot side, because uh, probably don't really want to gank one in the Trundle, because... It'll be really hard to kill Trundle when he steals all of your Orin's tank stats. Yeah. So, and that's also, that's something that, you know, I hadn't really thought about before in this matchup, but with four, you know, pretty beefy tanks there, Trundle has his choice of the map, you know. He can really choose anybody and just steal some of those stats. Mordekaiser's going to have the same opportunity if he's able to kill anybody with his ultimate. So, you know, this could easily turn into a couple of... Uh, 
you know, turnaround fights uh, could really be something possible within our used team comp. We are going to be 10 seconds away, but that does not mean, like, you, like I mentioned, that we are 10 seconds away from game. We're still going to wait that two minutes once we enter into game for it as well. Yes, what was... Don't we already have a two-minute delay on? We do, but we have to also uh, make sure that we, in client, do it, because we technically have to have a five-minute delay as well. Us two. The casters. Okay. So casters even have to be on that. As far as I understand it, you know, uh, let me let me see if I can't, you know, check that rule book and let you know. Um, but we will really quickly take a look at that and see if we can't find that officially. So... Let's see. So, as far as I understand it, that's not it. It's up here. Let's go to the con. Uh, is it? Go to the index. Spectators are permitted in official lobbies via lobby spectating only for the purpose of streaming or recording. Spectators may not actively. All matches may be streamed. Live streamers may use a stream delay of at least two minutes. Let's pause that just in case. Uh, oh, sorry. And uh, stream delay of at least two minutes. Uh, the stream is showing at least five minutes behind real time. Any online spectator viewing the game with less than five minutes of spectator client delay. So yeah, that's why I, the spectator client delay part. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, so that's why we're going to wait two minutes because we do have to wait for spectator client delay to come through. Uh, we will be, oops. So right now we are at 55 seconds, so we're just about into that. So once we hit that two minutes, we're going to go ahead and switch you over for it, um, and then we will have the game ready for you. Uh, but last thoughts going in as we look at it we do see senna having the stopwatch she's the only one so far so interesting uh, choices glacial augment gonna be the senna to make sure that she slows down those opponents as it goes uh grasp of the undying pretty common on orn aftershock on both you know zach and on uh nautilus the phase rush on vladimir now does that indicate that he's looking to go a little more tanky or a little that's more a damage standard rune. standard rune for ever him? since clothomancy was uh, removed oh, that's pretty exactly. much been the go-to one yes i forgot about the removal of clothomancy it tells you how much i forgot about that rune uh and then crazy goose it does have press the attack to go with that kaisa uh we do see the trundle going for a little more of a duelist with that conquer um as well as press the attack on the pantheon Another Conqueror on the Mordekaiser, and then Lethal Tempo on the, uh, the Sivir. Um, so, at the end of it all, we're going to see them get into lanes in just a second here. Let me make sure we are good enough. So, we're going to make sure to go into game here in... We'll show you as we do. So. There we go. And we are into game for it. At this point in, we are ready to go. Does look like everybody's just ready to take their lanes. Nothing gonna really happen too much here. So any last thoughts, Quinn, before we start up this game? I am really curious about how Trundle E works with Conqueror, as in like, if you hit somebody with it, do you get Conqueror specs? So I'm kind of curious to see if that's how that interaction works. Yeah, and that'll be something that we pay attention to throughout the game then. Uh, we do see now that both top laners are going to go with that uh, with the uh, corrupting potion. Uh, it actually same starts for both of the junglers as well. Uh, first time that we get a difference in any of the lanes is uh, actually looks like Zach has done quite the interesting uh, thing. He must have uh, the the uh, zombie ward room. Is it? Uh, yes. That yes, because he has done what I've been seeing in Korea a little bit. He placed his ward and immediately went back for a sweeping, uh, for a scrying bloom or a scry sweepers sweepers sweeper. yeah for a sweepers. Uh, so he switched that over. So he will get that. Uh, he will get one. Is it AP or it gets one adaptive force per one adaptive down. per yes. So. That's quite the interesting use of it, uh, but he wants to make sure that he has a little bit of vision there. Um, otherwise, pretty standard starts reds for both sides, uh, which means actually Pantheon is going to tr 
probably look to gank bottom lane early since he is starting on that top lane, even though that's not the uh, usual See, I'm expecting usual him to gank. path right to mid lane, perhaps. Oh, could be. He, can sneak he is going to go right ward. over this ward here, though. He can sneak past it if he hugs the wall, though. It did look like he has not been spotted out. Now he has, though, as he has walked back into the jungle. They do ping him away, so now we're going to see just a little bit of trading going on in the bot lane. Well-placed uh, ricochet there from the Sivir. This but this is already a gank damage. into the mid lane. This is not going to be the pull-in, and it's going to force the flash, but both, or both flashes. Both flashes and, uh, using uh, yes. Vladimir. So we have the Vladimir using both sums as well. Uh, so... In the end, NIU takes that one a little bit heavy, but in the bot lane, Air Force used Flash on the support in the Senna as and well heal. as Heal, so they're now down in that matchup as well. Gold even, as you'd expect early on in this game, but uh, early trades do cost some summoner spells there. So, Quinn... Uh, Looks like Walking Zach's going up to the top lane for yeah. us for an early gank. This is warded out, so it does look like Trundle is going to walk away immediately, and he does so. So uh, there's going to be some missing pings thrown out by the bot lane from uh, CMU as Pantheon does roam into their jungle. Zach looks to be making a return gank onto the Mordekaiser as we do yeah, see Pantheon moving to back towards bot lane. He's going to now be spotted here, and he's going to force the flash from the Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser is going to get that shield and going to look for first blood here. Yeah, of Not going to find flash. it there. But So in the end, again, a regank that forces all the flashes gone from both the junglers and the lane. But it doesn't turn into any first bloods quite yet. And now you a little bit on top in the gold there. We do see uh, Mordekaiser does back as you'd expect after he gets taken that low. Does not elect to use the teleport back to lane. So... We will see he's actually not going to lose out on much of the mini wave here as it just now is getting to his turret and he's about halfway back. Big wave stacked on the bot lane as well as Pantheon now roaming towards that lane. So we might see... So Zach's uh, packed over another yep. ward. Yep, Zach going to path over another ward and he's going to get out of there. Magic not even going to take any damage there. Uh, they do see... They do ping out the vision there, but NIU may be setting up a dive here on the bot lane quite early. Uh, as Pantheon is down with them, and the wave has crashed in. A lot of damage going into the Trundle now, though, so we'll yeah. see exactly Can't how this one plays those out. early game damage from Orange. He's got a lot of base damage and crowd control. Indeed. Uh, now, bot lane's still, still getting pushed in. Jeremy now going to path away from that, not actually going to step over any wards here, so we're not going to see any, uh, any further ganks towards the bot lane. And uh, it does look like everybody's just going to reset and continue to farm up in this matchup. Now that we finally got a little bit of time to talk about the uh, the gank patterns, anything that uh, you noticed out of the ordinary about how this uh, how this all played out here in the early game? Um, well, Pantheon hasn't gotten a kill yet, so a little. I was kind of expecting him to get an early kill mid, but just didn't have the damage to get it earlier. Indeed, and uh, the Zach doing a good job of disengaging in, on those, so we'll see exactly how. Now Zach is finding himself in the bot lane. He is going to land one of the stuns there. The knock-up oh, is done, like and that's going to be first blood. As Senna's just going to go down. Ooh. This is also a big match up on the, or a big damage onto the top laner there. Trundle is about yeah, to go down. We're going to rush the Bramble Vest to really oh, he uh, did. cut down that Conqueror healing. Indeed, so... Uh, it does look like he's going to try to delay this back, well, and he does might, almost die, right but uh, not going to end up dying in the end. This does look like with that kill onto Senna, it's going to be the first Drake. It's going to be a mountain onto the side of CMU. So that means that we won't get the mountain uh, mountain rift this mountain time. Soul. So luckily uh, for NAU, that won't be a mountain soul that they're having to contest against in this one if yeah, they do. That would have been disastrous if they had a mountain soul against three tanks. Indeed. Uh, so does look like that's not going to be the next one. We'll see exactly what comes up next. But uh, let's hover on over to that and see exactly where this goes while we wait. So it looks like Infernal is going to be the next one, meaning that we won't get the Infernal Soul either. Uh, so that means that we're either going to be down to Ocean or to uh, Cloud Drake for the Soul. So of those two, which one do you, which one do you think benefits which team here? Uh, I mean, obviously, Ocean Soul would really help uh, 
CME because it just make them even more tanky because they get all that healing whenever they're attacking. Mm-hmm. But uh, Cloud Soul would probably be the best case scenario for an IU, seeing as they're already down one dragon. Mm-hmm. So. And then they can get that ultimate uh, ultimate cooldown going for them as well um, if they are able to get that soul. Well, is, is that out of combat movement speed as well? It's in combat movement in speed. In combat movement with the soul. speed. Oh, interesting. So that would be a good one for them as well, as they do have kind of a chase down your uh, chase down your team and you know CC them into oblivion type of comp here. So I, I'd be interested to see exactly how this all matches up. And you once again, even though they're down that kill, they're only down the gold from it, and uh, Pantheon is roamed up towards the top lane, but they're really not going to get anything out of it. Right so. Now. Uh, that is going to be now both... Actually, uh, Trundle does have that level 7 compared to the oh, 6, but he's going to take a tower down. shot. Doesn't really Orin's hurt ulti. him as much. Orin ulti are. does go down. Uh, this is going to be very close, but that's going to oh. actually be the kill onto Magic in the stat check matchup. Yeah. So He just stole the, all of his stats and healed a bunch of health, so... Yes. As indeed. well as that Conqueror was pretty much fully stacked when he, when Orange started to turn it around. As mm -hmm. well as, look at look at how big that minion wave is. Orange was yes, tanking so that, that entire wave. That wave is going to allow him to get the first of the uh, plates here. And so, gold, once again, as we mentioned just a bit ago, it was even at the time, now it's actually a 200 gold lead in favor of NIU despite being down a Drake. Uh, kills are even eight minutes into this game very uh, You know, we haven't had much action too much or well We've had a lot of action, but it hasn't turned into many kills so far in this game as yes. you'd expect um, Matchups going about as you'd anticipate them uh, farm pretty even throughout the map top lane Trundle is uh, being the lane bully that he tends to be and uh, he's up 10 CS right now. It does look like Flash on from the Pantheon down in there. Going to force the Blood Pool out from Prine. Just, uh, and just enough to go out of that, uh, get out of that matchup. So, going to force the Flash. That is going to be Spell Shield not used. So Crane's going to be able to actually Flash on that one. And in the end, that looks like now they're going to turn onto the, onto the Nautilus. Not going to be able to find the damage. Now this is going to be onto the Vladimir. He is once again going to have to drop the Hema Flag onto oh, yes. the Mordekaiser. He's going to stick around to get into this turret. And uh, looks like he might want to turn this around, but he's going to drop his Ignite and walk away once he gets that healing done from his Q. In the end, not much going on out of that. Uh, bot lane, we did see a trade of summoner spells, but looks like we might get another fight on the top lane as once again Trundle is up a level. Going to use his ulti again to get that stat check. It's going to be Orn going in back again. Pantheon going to dive down onto the bot lane, but he's going to get immediately bursted. Going to actually go invul yeah, invulnerable, but not going to be able to get the kills. And uh, in the top lane, does not look like the tank fight went anywhere, so... In the end, we just see Pantheon dying on the Yeah, Shane hasn't early backed up to that there, first so. kill, so he hasn't spent all of his gold yet. Oh, that is a good point to make. We do see, uh, yeah, as oh, we X. go. Yes, so X is going to yeah, be the gold. he's sitting thing. on 1,600 gold right now that he hasn't spent yet. That could have been a difference in that fight. He is going to yeah. get caught there now, so the, the uh, Brittle is going to come through. Now going to drop off, and uh, in the end... Looks like we do see oh, the ulti here. coming down. He is gonna oh, oh he's gonna force really the, interrupt. Uh, the interrupt on the ultimate and not gonna be able to kill anything here. Uh, Mordekaiser is just gonna walk away from this one. Gonna put a little bit more damage down as he goes, but uh, Panthea does walk over a ward. So Zach now gonna position towards this uh, Rift Herald. That might be the next fight that we see. But Nautilus now gonna back after coming in towards the mid lane. This leaves Kaisa sitting under her turret just defending, and uh, not much going on. Shane still hasn't backed and is sitting on that all that gold. Uh, we will see. Close to yeah, he's now close to 2,000 gold, which would be the completed Black Cleaver. Uh, likely, if he to go for that. I'm yeah, not sure likely, if he's going to go for a Triforce either. Oh, uh, it could be a Cleaver. Triforce, and that might be what he's waiting for here, is getting enough gold to back with the Triforce. Uh, completion. Hemoplague does come down. Now going to be forced under the turret. It's going to be the shield. W. Does get another uh, another um, shield going on, and uh, turret shot does take. So, in the end, not much going on. Space Marines just gonna you know clean up that yeah. wave and back on this one. Sure, we had flash. You Blue team that. takes the dragon as we don't even notice that one. But uh, yeah, Ocean's gonna be the one that comes up for them. So not one that I know you wanted to see, but uh, already on two 
dragon uh, fragments is going to be CMU. So we'll see exactly uh, what happens here. Interesting that we still can't really hear the casters. We'll turn up our gain a little bit, see if that helps you any more. Uh, we apologize for that inconvenience. We're going to see continued on now. going to be just because of that second drake as well as the extra kill. Uh, CMU is up about 500 gold, but it's very even early on in this game. Uh, we'll see how this continues to play out. Uh, a lot of damage there onto the Kaisa, but not going to turn into anything in the end as they're just going to clear the wave here. Lots more damage onto the Kaisa, and a uh, good trade there from Ian onto, onto that bot lane from Central Michigan. This looks like it might be a gank onto the Vladimir. He is going to be forced he, he to stay in. Jump he doesn't know Pantheon's right yes. there. So he doesn't know the Pantheon is right here waiting to gank him, and he is going to force the, the flash. flash off from the Vladimir. That was actually Zach uh, ain't gonna miss the Senna, but one or this that's gonna be onto the Sivir actually. But in the end, it doesn't really matter as uh, point blank Nautilus hook does give you that CC chain. Uh, that was actually a misplay from Jeremy because if he just waited in the brush, there's a good chance that Vlad might continue to fight Nautilus mm -hmm. or fight Mordekaiser. But his team was able to see that not Pantheon's right there waiting for him to come out, so he knew he had to run away right away. Indeed, he might have tried to fight more otherwise. Because he did, he did ex expel his ignite in during that trade. So yes, uh, does look like now that's going to be two turret plates actually going over to Mordecai. So that's quite a bit of gold. But uh, does look like now they're going to start up that rift herald. We'll see exactly where that's used. Could go into the middle lane since that turret's already half health. Uh, in an attempt to you know finish off that. Uh, Finish off that turret. Hemoplague does go on to Mordekaiser. He's going to be Ooh, gonna healed and Senna shielded, shield. but he's going to get that shield back from Senna. Now it's going to be uh, Pantheon roaming up. So this is going to be a caught out Vladimir. We'll yeah, see exactly well, if he's able to get here. Uh, I don't believe he's got an execute ready for him. Yeah, he's got to wait like 10 more seconds. And he's going to try to do so, try to heal up. It does no. Oh, he does get the execute down. So well played there by Vladimir. Unfortunate that I was not able to get the gold off that kill, but in the end they are able to get that Rift Herald. And now that it's uh, now that they have you know Mordekaiser coming back, Orn's going to come back towards the uh, mid lane just to protect in case they do try to decide to drop that turret. Uh, yeah, could use Cesar right there. Indeed, he could have. Um, We'll see exactly. Orn is now being pinged missing, so we'll see how this is. Zach now hovering towards the bot lane, but Mordekaiser is as well. Very well warded here from CMU, so uh, it does not look like that's going to be the gank from Mordekaiser. He'll just back up and go back towards his mid lane uh, wave that he'll be able to clear here. That crowd now has moved into the alcohol, though, so there's a good chance that he's going to try to go for a honey year soon. Yeah, in, indeed. With the Zac ready to go and pounce on this one. Uh, this is actually now just uh, Orn trying to back off. This could be uh, not going to be actually be used. Oh, it is the Rift Herald so, but, uh, summed up on the bot lane there. Uh, going to be Sivir now flashing away to get out of that one. Uh, and oh, actually going to be caught by the hook. Unlucky there. But uh, in the end, it's going to be two kills here. Now, we do see Trundle tanking up and really well played by Orn to make sure that not only did his turret not die, but he does get the kill here? Wow. And uh, now he might end up turning this oh, for a double. Really poorly misplayed on that one. So uh, now 7-1 to one in favor of CMU on this game. And quickly up to a 3,000 gold lead as this game goes on. Um, Kaisa becoming the issue as she's 3-0-2. But Zach doing well to gank this bot lane and make sure that that's... Uh, very well held. Yeah, it looks like they were trying to go for that first turret blood. Ooh, and already the uh, the ultimate dropped onto the oh, he Kaisa. He hit that Q. Could be the one to finish this off. Going to be able to get the Kaisa now. Yeah, he should be, be able to get both here. Yeah, he's he got Rylai. He's, he's so. not going anywhere. So this is going to be the slow and the kill onto... Yep, yep, there, there it goes. is. Probably and they're going to actually yeah. take it. So Crane does get the the assist, but well played there by Mordekaiser, able to get up to 2-0-0, oh, and, oh, and this they could be, be actually the Drake. Yeah, this should soon. be Drake, but they're going to find Prine if they look close enough here. They are going to find him. Uh, going to be the Hemoplague dropped, and now the heal back on, so Crane is going to continue to follow, but they are just going to turn towards this Drake. 
as Vladimir decides to back away from it. Zach now is available here if he wants to uh, go ahead and try for the steal here. Um, but let's see exactly how this plays out. He is going to oh. jump away, but he does dive too far and not going to be able to get the might steal. He, he so, smited, actually. Oh, he smited. Because he jumped the, into the pit and then out of the pit at the, correct. with he, one E. But he didn't get the smite in time. Indeed. So uh, well used by him, but not able to find it. So it does come off cooldown now, but he is going to position here towards the towards the bot lane. Going to slow on to onto Senna now, but Senna is going to actually turn this one. I don't know what Ian's doing. Ian is going to actually oh, he, get the oh, Zach, the but Zach passive. he's going to go ahead and stuck. now yeah oh, now he's stuck. Pantheon, Pantheon here going to be able to contest this to keep him alive. So. Good one for going trade, but now we do see the TP coming in from Orn. Uh, they're going to try to back away here. This is going to be the Nautilus ultimate coming down onto the Pantheon. S Sivir goes back in and is caught, but in the end, it's not going to end up turning into anything. This could be Vladimir. Yes, he's going to get stunned back up, and it could be, and there it is, the kill onto the Vlad. So in the end, it's a two for two, uh, but let's see as Nautilus and the... Orn are roaming. Actually, all three are it roaming a, back towards the middle. Oh, it was a two for one. I didn't get the Kaisa kill, but the Zack kill was early yeah. in. So extended yeah. two, extended for three for two in favor of CMU in that yeah. one. So uh, we'll see how this one all plays out. Now Nautilus looking for something. He's going to be uh, seen on that one, spotted out on that, but uh, not going to turn into much. They do know that he has vision in that bush. So now it's going to be taken by Senna and cleared out. Two for one in favor of the turrets in uh, CMU's side. So uh, that is that bot lane being taken, but the top lanes are pretty even here. Uh, we'll see exactly if that bot, when that bot lane does go down. Uh, Orn is there. sitting at a 800 gold lead right now. Indeed he is. Some goals are about even. Mid's actually, Mordekaiser is surprisingly off 1500 gold. Uh, but the bottom lane is down 2,500 gold. This is going to be uh, on the hunt coming in. And from, support is down 1,500. From Sivir. Not going to be used to much avail. But they are going to actually find the this Vladimir here. This is an 0-3 Vladimir. That, or 0-2 Vladimir. Could easily be 0-3. But they don't have the follow-up. Zach now going to try to re-engage. Not going to be able to find I'm anything out to that. Now going to now re-engage as well. Somebody this is a lot of damage. But Senna in the back line able to get off for Mordecai ultimate. This is going to be a Mordecai. Pants got a double kill. Now Mordecai has grabs one on the Kaisa side. Kaisa caught out now. Kaisa is caught as well. Ooh. This is going to be the. This could this actually really be an ace. This is going to be a clean ace from NIU, and with the wow. Baron spawning at in now 40 seconds, they could easily position towards this after huge taking the team mid lane. Blunder from well done CMU. by NIU. So explain to me here exactly how that was played by NIU and how they were able to get you know a clean ace out of that one, please. Well, I was talking to you earlier about how if Mordekaiser presses R on one of their carries, they lose half their damage. Well, he didn't need to do it this time because Vladimir lost like 70% of his health bar before the fight even started. And then when he went to go back in to re-engage and heal up with his uh, passive, Mord ulted him anyways. And then the instant he came out, he was right in prime position to kill Kaisa. So Kaisa had to stop doing DPS to the back line. And so he had to start running away, but he can't run because Mordekaiser had his passive running. And so Kaisa just had nowhere to go and just kind of got killed. As well as uh, those three other members of uh, CMU, they're just tanks. They don't do damage. Indeed. Like if they can't, if they don't have their help from their back line, they're just, they're just nothing. They're just free kills waiting to happen. Indeed. So, I mean, as we as we continue to see, we did notice that, uh, you know, it was probably a good idea that NIU didn't position towards that Baron as, you know, the response came in. Yeah, I like what they did they with had... just taking the two mid towers. Indeed. So now they are now they are up in gold. Um, Baron is spawned now, so they can position towards that as they need to go. Uh, that's a, a very fed Mordekaiser right yeah, now. Now five he's got 2,500. And the, 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 the Kaisa Sivir difference dropped by like 1,000 after that fight. Indeed. So now about 1,500. Same thing with the Orn one. That one disappeared too. Because Orn actually had a pretty big bounty on him. Somebody collected on that one. Yes. and But we did see Orn did just hit 13. So he was able to upgrade his... Uh, his yeah, he um, gets his free item. Sunfire. I believe it's actually at level 12 he gets it. Yes. Uh, so, so he's, he's got, got the upgrade one. there. Um, 14 will be the first time that he's able to uh, upgrade someone else's as he's still waiting on his second upgrade here. Shane's finding that nice uh, river rush. Nice control ward there, cleared out. Does look like this is going to be the next major fight, not over the Baron, but over that second ocean drake. There's one thing I see wrong with uh, CMU's builds currently. None of them are able to get any upgraded Orn items yet. 
Indeed. So they're kind Nautilus of waiting. might be the first guys. one to be able to get one, depending on what he purchases. But yeah. none of their items are currently upgradable by Orn. No. So even when he hits those levels, he can't give them those free stats. And this is actually going to be a catch on to the on to Nautilus. It looks like Zach is going to be, you know, it was a bait actually, in the end. They, they're getting like, they're going to get caught on this one. Going to be one kill already. Now possibly two. As yes, this is oh, CMU oh, this in is prime position for this Drake. If Prine is going to be taken down, they are going to be able to get down oh, the one. So this could be another kill, and this actually might be turned around yeah, by it. Orn is down shots. as this goes. Oh, uh, no, we'll see exactly how this goes. Up. Nope. Now Kaisa is able to get the damage here, and uh, this is going to be just Trundle trying to run away as He's it continues. Fast. He's Ooh, able to stop that. All. Nice interrupt on but the. But they're uh, going to lose the dragon, and the, they lost a lot of. All their, their gold lead that they had just got thrown away. Oh, yes. It's uh, it's down to... Uh, Kais is now up 3k gold on yes. Sivir. Mordekaiser's still up 3k gold, but just barely. Orn got his gold lead back, good. and then... So I think Senna lost her gold lead as well. So now Trundle's just going to wait on that what, good oh, pillar to interrupt the, the pull, but uh, going to be Dovan, but going to actually get healed up by... Senna, so not going to turn into much in the end. And now uh, Trundle is going to continue to go, but that's going to be Pantheon coming in on that one. Not going to be able to land the ultimate. And uh, in the end, it's just going to be NIU resetting here. They might be in position here to uh, position around the Baron if they can get this pick out of Vladimir, but does seem to be caught out a little bit. Very not going to be envisioned the there. Because so. they don't have a very good front line. Their front line is kind of Trundle, but he's really only a. Uh... It's only purchase damage. Now they the see Vladimir, part. and this is actually going to be the dive onto Vladimir. He could be caught in he's this one. Stun's going to be out. He is rooted, and he he's going to be pulled, in his blood pool anywhere. already. So oh, now he's, he's going to be able though. to phase rush out of there. But uh, Trundle is going to be very quick and able to you know follow up here. If he's able to land that pillar, he will get the kill. But no, he's going to back away as Zach does re-engage here. This is now going to be you know prying. Or got it obliterated. Yeah, though. they're going to be obliterated here. So now a two for two for three possibly three for two or three for uh, one in this gonna now die. it's going to be the end of this one yeah, as an uh, that's an ace only one going down and that's actually going to be barren now they're triple kill for kaisa. CMU. yes kaisa sitting on now. a 600 gold bounty because she is up about five thousand gold at this one yeah five yeah she's uh, got a four five and a half gold lead on the end. so this is going to be uh I know you're going to be testing their will here to see if they can't hold on through. Nathan never got to get his off off, so he just kind of died instantly. Indeed. Uh, so this is going to be Baron going down, and they will, they're going to wait it out to make sure that Vladimir has it as well. Uh, so they're going to actually not a Smite King there, but that's okay because nobody was there to contest. So NIU has some towers they could do to even out this. Uh, Kaisa is currently sitting in the mid lane, but she's going to back now just in time to make sure that she does not get caught out by that Pantheon. And uh, we're going to see how this all progresses. Now sitting at just one more uh, Drake before the Souls. So this is going to be a very important Drake uh, for NIU to make sure they keep, as well as everyone from here on out. So uh, Because if they do give up that one more, that yeah. will be permanent healing uh, on combat for Central yeah. Michigan. Vladimir already heals a lot. He's going to heal a lot more soon. Indeed. Kaisa does a ton of damage on this one. So yeah, she's we'll already at four full items, and it looks like she's going to get the Zanyas next. It does so it's going to be even harder to kill her now. Mm -hmm. uh, Zach, one thing we haven't no mentioned as much, Zach's sitting 0-2 and 14 already in this game. So... High kill participation on that one. It's not as high as Kaisa's or not. No, it's not. But for uh, for the tank that he is, it's uh, good that he has not died quite that much. Um, looks like NAU does have Pantheon back here. We'll see if he looks to uh, looks to hold this turret. They are going to yeah, take just gonna this one going. These. So does look like they'll try to hold that second one in the mid lane here, uh, but likely going to go down as well. Going to be a pull now onto the Kaisa yeah, the just Kaisa, to be able to get out. But You can uh, just go into stealth and just get away. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how this one continues on. Uh, we do see now just continue to siege on there. Now they're going to look to pick off uh, this Vladimir. They Vlad. did get that, but now it's going to be the damage back onto the Pantheon. Ooh, they're it's tower going to be diving. Tower dive looking to go for it. Trin, uh, Trundle is going to go right down. Now it's going to be uh, three just popping from, or two just popping from Central Michigan, but in the end, Another triple kill Kaisa, Kaisa. again a triple kill. 
that was actually Zach going into his passive, so that's yeah. what I didn't notice before. But um, and uh, Nathan didn't get his ult off again. This no, fight either. Not. So once again, this is going to be down Kaisa versus the world, and uh, that Kaisa full health still available to do. Still damage. has the ultimate. Still As has well as still has there, Baron. So like this over. is uh, going to be game number one here. And I was going to have to go back to the drawing board to see exactly what they need to improve here. Uh, but that Kaisa hyper carry, definitely not what they were looking to have to face throughout that game. Game one goes to Central Michigan, and we're going to take a slight break while we wait for game number two to start on up. But uh, yeah, Central Michigan up one nothing in this series. So let's go ahead and jump over to Oh shoot.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. We are already back into Champ Select. So it looks like CMU is going to pick up that Nunu and Willem, uh, as Diana was actually picked up by NIU. So uh, interesting that we didn't think that was a band that we would have thought, but it is picked up now. So uh, Diana and Nunu are going to be the pickups for NIU and CMU, respectively. Silas, Solution, and Zach, the three bands from NIU, as you see, and Draven, Anivia, Mordecai are going to be the three bands from CMU, as you see. Throwing another band over at Nathan. Yeah, throwing two bands at Nathan there. So Orn going to be the pickup again from CMU. That was kind of problematic for NIU last game, so we'll see exactly how that plays. Again, similar type of composition here where Nunu is going to be another CC-heavy AP tanky jungler that we'll see how that plays out against NIU. Oriana, one that was banned last game, now going to be left up, and it is going to be picked by uh, by Nathan. So we'll see exactly how that one plays out. But Diana Nar actually now being picked up. Uh, so definitely a bruiser with a lot of engage potential. Uh, mm -hmm. Vladimir once again for the disengage coming in. So that'll be played most likely in that mid lane. Uh, so we'll see exactly. This is not very much the flex picks. This is straight up. We want Diana in the jungle. We want Orion in the mid lane. We want Nar in the top lane yeah. uh, type of picks. Central Michigan now has two more bands to see. That's going to be Morgana once again targeted at Jess in that support role. Uh, Nautilus now taken down off of that pick order. So we'll see. That's going to see. Uh, that's going to see the support here from. Uh, from CMU on something new this game. So exactly what that is, we'll see, but uh, something new for sure. Last band from CMU is going to come through. As you notice, we haven't mentioned, but uh, NIU and CMU did switch sides for this next game. Uh, Sivir going to be the band, so they're going to take away that bot lane uh, pick. And Kaisa, once again. So both of the ADCs that were played last game, off the table. Now we're looking at something new in that bot lane. Looks like... Uh, I'm not sure why they got rid of the Sivir. It didn't really play that well last game. This is indeed game two. Thank you, Dances from Narwhals. Uh, Braum going to be the one picked up by CMU, so another tanky support. And so once again, we're going to be playing the the game of protect the AD carry for CMU. So can, this game is going to be all about, can I know you break that protect the carry comp once again? Tristana looks like that's the hover right now. Will that be the pick? To, dis to take away this Protect the Carry comp. It, with four seconds left, it does look like that might be the one that's locked, and indeed it is the lock here. So we'll see what support gets paired with the Tristana. Um, Quinn, looking over at you right now, you're not liking that pick. What, no, what are you not. thinking? Tristana has not been uh, very prevalent in the meta right now, so I'm not really sure what, what they're thinking about with that pick. Okay. And then uh, we do, we're looking at the support and using all their time to try to figure out what this one is going to be. Looks like the Karma. Karma. So Karma did receive some buffs this She patch. did receive some she buffs. So 10 this could damage be... on both her Q and W, but yes. so a little bit of extra power there for mm -hmm. leaning phase. And Caitlyn is going to be that pickup for Central Michigan. This is, again, exactly the type of AD carry you want to put in the Protect the Carry comp, especially with yeah, you know, somebody you like can wrong. sit back in the sit back. And just poke at them. It is going to rely a lot on positioning. Kaisa, another one that relied on positioning, seemed to do pretty well on that last game. We'll see exactly how that impacts this game. Uh, but that is going to be the lineup that we have going in. So let's switch over to the, uh, the champ select client, and we'll see where they're at. They're not quite ready yet, so we're ready. To get into this final or the second game of this of the matchup, as we expect, we're just going to see the straight up picks here. It's going to be uh, on the side of NIU. We will see the uh, Nar, Nar, Diana, or yeah, Nar, Diana, Oriana, Tristana, Karma on the side of Central Michigan. We're going to see Orn, Nunu, Vlad, Caitlin, Brom more than likely. Uh, bans just formalities at this point. Otherwise, you know, it just kind of works out that way. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at for this one. Let's go ahead and see where we're at on Twitch. This is... Let me, while we wait, uh, do some updating here. So we're going to studio mode this, and then we are going to... 
red score to So yes, as we change that, we're just gonna watch through the champ select process uh, to make sure that it is all up and accurate. So let me go ahead and All right, and there we go. So still waiting on this one, but uh, yep. There's those picks. Oh. Pretty traditional summer spells. We're going to see top lanes going with TP. Last game was a double TP on both sides. This game is actually going to be a little bit different as it looks like Prine and sorry and uh, Oriana, or so Vladimir and Oriana are going to go with uh, Ignite and Barrier, uh, respectively. It's pretty common for those champions, but a little bit different in the matchup. Um, we do see as we continue... Everything that we expected, Diana for PCH, Oriana for Space Marine, Nar for Magic, and uh, Caitlin once again for the Crazy Goose. So we'll see how this all plays out. Anything looking at this comp that you see then just, you know, looks blatantly obvious. You know, I mean, I think this game's probably going to try to play out pretty much the exact same way the last game played out, so... CMU now has an easier dragon take than Nunu because he just true damage with his Q. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have to probably have to try to sneak away those dragons because uh, CMU is going to definitely want to contest those. But do you think, um, how about that early game? So we, we noticed that, you know, we thought the Pantheon was going to be Feast or Famine and didn't really get his early ganks going. Yeah, he didn't get um, really anything early game happening. And, and seemed to kind of fall off as that continued. Do you think with this Diana they'll have an easier time going through that, or do you think that that's going to be a uh, similar play out for how this goes well, through? Diana, Diana ganks aren't very, very good. Pre six because she mm -hmm. does, she'll need that crowd control from the R, as well as the extra damage from the R to really, uh, to really, you know, get those ganks going, especially mm -hmm. against the, especially against Vlad because he's just going to pull and run away. And Brahms is going to try to stop and slow you if you try to do anything. So they might try to look topside for some ganks because Orin probably probably has like the worst escape method for all of their lanes. And then new new ganks are going to be a little bit more difficult to do because the snowball is really really telegraphed. Mm -hmm. So like once you see it coming in, it's pretty easy to dodge. Indeed. And uh, we are once again into that spectator relay. Uh, but yeah, we're going to look and see exactly how this all plays, you know, how this plays out. Um, it's, once again, like you said, the, the changes to, this, uh, to these comps don't actually change all that much. Um, a little bit tougher gank execution from Nunu, but, it, but they, at the expense of a better dragon take for the side of Central Michigan. Now, for those people at home, as well as, you know, a little bit myself, um, if you don't mind, why don't you walk through how these Diana changes that have come through in the past couple patches, how do they affect her jungling, how do they affect her generally, um, what exactly have they changed? Well, they switched, uh, the Diana changes switched her, her E and her R. Her E used to be, is the, was the pull. And her R was the dash, and they basically switched them so that Diana can now dash free level six, but she can't have crowd control to level six. Which actually, it'll actually make her jungle clear faster, because now she can use her E to help clear the single camps. It's not really going to help against the the multi camps, but she still has probably a slightly better clear than she did the last patch. But at the expense of her lane ganks, I mean, yeah, I'm at, at, at the expense of ganking, so she's gonna have to rely more on her laner setup, and none of their laners really have good setup. It can work. Uh, good, good to know. So Diana is not the pick that they needed on paper, but it could work. We'll see exactly if that is how it plays out. Um, we see that you know Panth was available in this game, but wasn't picked up. Do we think that that was you know by design or? 
exactly where do we think that that is going to play out? Definitely, because Pantheon stopped scaling pretty much about the 20 minute mark, because a lot of his damage is based on his passive crit, which is based on percent health. Mm -hmm. And as, as you get farther into the game, you have more health. So getting to that threshold of percentage health is really difficult when your damage isn't increasing at all. Good to know. Where Pantheon stops just getting a lot of damage. He usually starts buying tank items after two items. So he really can't do a lot. So of of these lanes, we've got you know tanks and both solo laners for uh, for CMU are tanks. Uh, uh, Nar is not you know per se a tank except in Mega Nar, um, but he could get better there. How did the first game go? Um, oh, we don't talk about that first game. So the first game went to CMU. Uh, the scaling was heavy. Pretty uh, much Kaisa. the CMU pretty much ran the same comp as they have now. Just three tanks and two carries. Mm -hmm. So they're just running it back with the same comp. Probably going to be similar or the same result is what I'm expecting. I, unless, I, I, unless NIU can find a way to put their carries behind mm -hmm. and make them irrelevant early. So with that on, in mind, do you think the focus on these ganks from Diana should be the bot lane and the mid lane, or...? Certainly. Okay. Because uh, Orn's just going to be really hard to kill again. It's going to be the same thing as last game. And then if Vlad is going to be really difficult to escape, so I'm expecting more of their focus on bottom lane, because Diana can just dash past the Braum if Braum doesn't you know, stop her. So I'm expecting... Uh, some heavy focus to the bottom side for both teams, especially because those dragons are super valuable and Nunu's fantastic at taking them. Indeed he is. And so now we're just waiting on, you know, we're waiting for another uh, another t minute and 30 seconds, looking through the runes as we've got them here, Conquer on the Nar as we expected, Diana with the Conquer, uh, Summon Aerie on the Orianna as expected, press the attack on Kate, or on, uh, Tristana, uh, <laughs> all right, Ricardo, you want to repost that Pantheon, uh, that Pantheon quote with uh, not using language that we can't prove at this university? Thank you very much. Uh, and then we got the summon area on the karma once again. Orn, once again, using the same. Looks like actually the same. Same runes are all the way down, except for, uh, oh, that's a fleet footwork on the Caitlyn, and then the Guardian on the, uh, on the Braum. Much to be expected with those champions, but, you know, just, just making sure with everything going on. 30 seconds away from game, looks like we should have quite a good one once again. Uh, but yeah, we've got, uh, got to just wait on this. Any final thoughts before we head into the game, Quinn? I think it's uh, this game is going to be really determined by who gets those early dragons. Mm -hmm. And uh, as as we look through, yeah, we don't have which one spawned quite yet. Yeah, we don't get to see it until like 15 seconds, I believe, is when it spawns in, or uh, when it, you can gotcha. see it. So what we will do is we will hover over the drake as that, uh, as that comes in, and then we will uh, not worry about anything else but here we go so we're gonna go ahead and wait it's gonna be infernal drake the first one so not the infernal soul uh no uh, stopwatches to start here so interesting choices there and uh nar actually not going for the um for the uh corrupting potion instead going for the doran's blade and the single pot he doesn't need the corrupting potion because he doesn't have mana oh good point Good point. Forgot about that part. I, I was thinking about it as the dueling. Or, or going for Corrupting Pot seems a little greedy to me, because you would expect in a range versus melee matchup that didn't, for him to just go Doran Shield mm -hmm. and get that extra regen every time he's hit. But now uh, Shane has... Because Doran Shield is a really good incentive for why you shouldn't hit somebody. A lot of damage already onto this Nunu. And, and uh, they're going to get the ward at least. Yeah, taking the ward down too. And so they're going to force Nunu to back. But he was probably going to back either way. He was so Jess is going to get some like free gold from that. Free gold. So NIU starting this game a little bit better than the last one. Uh, in the end, it doesn't really change too much. Again, the sweeper taken for, uh, for CMU. NIU currently has a 25 gold lead. Hey, 
we'll take twenty five gold. You know, it's a it's a lead. A lead is a lead is a lead is a lead. It's a, uh, it's a nice uh, advantage for the support item too. It is. You can nice get those advantage. wards just a little bit quicker. Yes. As well as get that manifold band proc. Thank you, Ricardo. Panthos get shut down really easily by their whole team post fifteen minutes. That is a much better way of putting it. I appreciate that. Uh, anyway. Now we're going to look in here, a little bit of damage traded on the mid lanes, otherwise we're just seeing the red start from both sides. Uh, looks like a fake leash from, uh, from Nar, but it should be found out relatively simply. Um, Nunu and Nunu Diana, Diana, Diana already gang. looking for level 2 ganks. Uh, Nunu is going to be spotted out, so immediately going to be backed off just, from. So. He's just wasting a lot of time right now. He is, so he's actually going to set himself behind. He looks like he's already... Yeah, now he's building that snowball over towards the Orianna. Already looking for a gank there, too. Uh, Orianna going to be... Not going to be forced to flash, actually. So, well done by Orianna. Just uh, holding on to those sums, not... Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Julian. We have forgotten to change over to... Which one am I going for? I'm going for... Thank you. In game. You're right. Thank you, guys. Direct your camera. There you go. Have a good one. All right. Sorry about that. Um, you didn't really miss anything. Nothing. You really didn't miss. Happened. Yeah. Nothing happened. We just had a little bit of ganks back and forth. Uh, not not like ganks, but a little bit of trading back and forth. Uh, bot lane getting pushed in, as you'd expect from this lane. Uh, gonna be a, ooh oh, blocking denying that cannon. That cannon. That's rough. Well threaded though to make sure that the uh, Orn is taking a little bit of damage from the uh, from the Q. Now we're gonna take a lot of damage and we get the spectator bug where Nar is knocked up into oblivion um, for a second there. And uh, we just continue now. Nunu once again looking for a gank. Now oh, looking for a gank under the top lane, but crap. he's gonna be taken away from that by uh, Diana. Now it's gonna be e earlier oh, roam from Orn. But uh, well done we to actually crab. get the Scuttle Crab. Is it going to be the turn on this well flashed and first blood oh, over to blood, the, over the magic? It's not going to turn into much, it but this could actually two. be a two for one. Nar has red buff. Nar does oh, have it, and he's bounce. able to bounce. Well, that's going to be the kill over to him. Right, that's going to be a double kill. kill for Nar. Well done to get that early advantage. Yeah, no. And uh, actually, Nar now going to oh, roam chasing, over yeah. to Orn. Oh, this no, might be a catch. This is going to be the uh, the kill on to Orn as well. What this is, is going to be a three, uh, an extended uh, triple kill. Well Nathan done. Just wasted Nathan just flash. Yeah, Nathan wasting flash. But, I don't know about that one. But otherwise, great play from NIU there. Just catching all three of them. I don't know why Orn walked that way. Like That was the only way he needed not to walk, and he walks that way. He could have walked towards mid lane or up into the jungle, and he just walks right into the door. Still can't. There, should, you guys should be able to see screen now. Should be able to. There's a little bit of a delay. There so. is. There's a two minute delay between when you guys post something in, in chat and when I. Not so, but no, Orn well, is going, going, going for round two. Should just be able to buffer this. Oh, we Not able the buffer. to buffer, but still able to get out. Uh, this could be, yep, flash oh, use, but now the TP. This oh, is going to be the TP, TP trade. He's TPing onto a tra oh, the traps are actually missed. Wow. And just able to get the knock up still into Karma, and Karma is going to be oh, the one stunned up. Flash. But now Vlad flashes and uh, going to still get hit by the the bomb. Yeah, but cool there, it's still going to be uh, that's going to be for the dragon possibly. Yep, they're going to look for yeah, the drake here. Just be able to take the dragon. NIU does Diana look like they might want to contest, top lane but was a mistake. Diana is top, so. Yeah, it's not going to really turn into anything, but Diana's going to be able to go plates. for a lucky steal here, but I'm not They don't have anything. the smite, though, so... Yeah, I don't need it. They got a new new Q. Oh, true. Yeah, I'm just going to secure it, even try to block it with the uh, brown shield. Mm -hmm. But this is one and a half plates taken by uh, Diana, so could actually be, you know, could be worth in the end here if the gold does equal out. Um going to be able to delay this back. back. Gonna wow, so that's going to be even more towards the top lane. This could be two plates going towards the end. waited another second on that, but still gets the deny on the reset, which will probably cause him to lose another wave, because Diana's still going for those tower plates. And as we reset here, even though NIU is down, is only up one kill and up uh, one, uh, or up down to Drake, 
gold. They're, yeah, they're down. They're up a hundred. They're up one thousand five hundred gold on this one because of the gold all onto the jungler here. Yeah, so that's where the difference is. You can see those one thousand gold leads on top in the jungle, and even a five hundred gold lead for that mid lane. This is almost yeah. actually a third plate taken already on the top lane yeah. with Gnar there. So and That's a really early plate, too. It so is. Should be able to easily get some of those later if uh, Orn leads lane for even mm -hmm. a little bit. Which is nice because then they'll be able to force him to not be able to roam around here and have any map pressure. So well done by NIU kind of forcing the issue and keeping Nar or keeping Orn in lane as best as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we do see thank you Ricardo for the top die. That is indeed what uh, what happened in that in that matchup. Uh, so we do see continuing on. Nunu is positioning towards that top scuttle crab. He's going to take that one real quick. Uh, but uh, now we do see a little bit of damage. Well done to kind of kite here Nunu's from uh, Nunu come off, not being able, to, or from Nar not being able to hit that stun. It's not six yet either. So I don't think he'd be able to get a kill there. No, I don't think so either. But well done and to kind Nunu of hold being that top damage. Side, I don't think he wants to go for an extended trade, but he might not know that Nunu is there. Does hit six now, so we'll have it the next time he hits uh, Meganar. So those have a pretty big uh, experience lead over the uh, the Orn. Because mm -hmm. Orn's been away from lane for quite a while. Gonna Diana be also to... has a huge XP lead on the jungle matchup because he spent like two whole minutes top lane just taking place in waves. Now just able to kite. Uh, early um, early impressions look like this is going to be for the Nar a uh, black cleaver. A black first. cleaver. Probably uh, then going to get a. Could definitely oh, do the, the, the glacial the dash, shield. Just doesn't but have the damage. What item am I thinking of here? The uh, the frozen glacial mallet. yeah the flo frozen mail. That's that's always a go-to item for Nar. So that could likely be a second item here. Uh, just gonna be able oh, to poke it. Could go for a here. dive here. He, he, has no, he might has go no, for it. He gets it and yeah, he's gonna he go get the no kill. W. So. Yeah. Well done by well just done by magic making it four to nothing. Four to nothing in that kills up top, or actually four to one. So Orn did pick one up somewhere here. He picked so. them up in the bottom lane, I believe. Indeed. So uh, it looks like that's where that came in. Now going to see the uh, continuation of this mid lane trade, uh, but this game. I really like what Shane's doing here. He should have uh, pushed in the wave and then just reset. Mm -hmm. But now he's going to go for the plate. So he's going to be really late on his reset. Nunu coming in, going to get uh, the stun, Nunu's but he's going to get surrounded, surrounded here. Going to drop his ulti. Could oh, not with the, the shockwave. With the shockwave, yeah. But uh, could be. Not Might really keep going, but Vlad yeah. is behind them. They should see him right here. They do on they the ward, him. so they're going to back away now. Nar going to be able to hop away here. Uh, does get Meganar. Not going to be able to uh, to buffer fun. this. Oh, he walked right back into it. Walking back into it, but stunning it up. Is does he have ulti? Ulti available here already? Not going to uh, be available during the fight, but he is going to be. Once he switches jump. the mini, he'll have a lot more movement speed. Oh, the flash though. Oh, he should be fine with the movement speed he got and the slow. He's just going to good jump job over hopping the wall. over the wall, making sure that you know he well, can't he get shouldn't dove here. go in for that because Diana is on his way. And this is going to be another plate coming through from uh, NIU. They're going to be able to grab you know almost two plates possibly here, no, but not they do go see right back they're going to see Vlad. They see that dragon spawning yep. soon. They dragon need to spawning and Vlad coming back. Uh, this is going to be oh, oops, that missing the EQ, but or QW. Nunu gonna just throw the uh, biggest snowball ever towards towards that mid lane and not gonna hit anything with it. Dances Narwhal says 200 IQ. Thank you, 200 IQ Narwhal. Couple control wards right around that dragon pit as yeah, we are uh, setting up for it right now. Yeah. And right. you back too late. And they did so, but and giant is in the top side, so they're Diana just gonna give is, it up. So they're but gonna they give it up. Get but they an could get kill here. No, an orn kill and possibly the. Uh, the Rift Herald off this yeah, one. They're gonna have to go for the Rift Herald here because they're just giving up the dragon. Mm -hmm. But is it gonna be? It's a Cloud Soul. That's actually pretty good for NIU considering they're already down the two dragons. If they got, if that was an Earth Dragon, I think that could have been it. Looks like NIU is gonna take this turret and then look to go for that uh, that yeah. Rift Herald. So they probably should be splitting up though and starting it because uh, the more people are around the turrets when they the turret plates when they fall, the more resistances. The, uh, the tower will get so having two people there might be uh, inefficient, but they're still gonna get it and they're probably gonna go for the herald perhaps. 
Looks like that's the ping that's onto it now. They are going to see this they're control word as they walk through, so. which could be uh, problematic. Looks like they'll. But I don't think they're going to contest since Flag's in base, and mm -hmm. Nunu's going down to the bottom side to do his wolves. So there's not likely going to be a contest from CMU. So it looks like NIU is going to continue to build this gold lead despite being uh, down in Drakes. They are up in gold towers and experience here. Able to just get that while taking a tiny bit of damage is Ian and uh, going to walk over a ward. But this is going to be the turret or the rift tail dropping and uh, likely going to be placed onto that mid lane. Oriana is going to just oh, dodge that, but it's going to hit the Ema Plague. Nice, not going to hit the Shockwave. Oh. Now going to dive in, going to be able to knock out of the Nar. Be the, this the could be a double here. here. Uh, oh, Vlad yeah, is going to be able to flash. So they is, did get the Rift be, Tail here. Yeah, they, are they dropping be, it? They are going to look... Yeah, yep, they dropped it. They're, they're just so. going to take this mid tower right now. So this will easily be a two turrets for nothing. And actually, based on the Ornn having might Rome, they might be able to keep going here. Yeah, And at least take half the second turret. Because Vlad's really low. They have the gnarl, but they're not going to get that for a little yeah, bit. So they will back just, off of this. He just cools just down. Take half of that. Yeah, they're still going to get the majority of the tower, which is huge. As well as they might be able to get a plate down here bot, but they don't have the wave to do it. No. So, and are you actually doing well to you know split where the focus is and uh, doing much better in this early game? Yeah, so they're far. really handling this new new. They just got to make sure they get those next dragons. Indeed. Uh, so, as they continue to do so. NIU is really opening up this map as they continue through here. Going to force the Braum to miss here. Uh, Caitlyn doing Caitlyn things. Not yeah, just interesting. Interesting choice here. Does not look to be going yeah, for the Storm he's not Razor opting first. For the Storm Razor, which is really odd considering how strong it is on Caitlyn because you get that 75% slow on your first auto attack. Indeed. So it looks like that's going to be an IE first. And it also has, uh, it has really good synergy with Fleet Footwork. Does indeed. Which is another reason to take it. Looks like this is going to be yet another, another plate tower coming down. Play. That's very good. And all the gold going on to Crane here. So yeah. uh, that's going to be another one here. Uh, it does look like Nunu is going to just clear oh, out his. Going, that and not going to he's going to go, oh, like, so go mid lane. It did look like he was going to turn towards on. mid lane. So uh, now going to. Uh, now he's looking, here, now looking to go there, but it's smartly, you know, uh, spotted out by. Uh, Oriana and she's just gonna intuit that and back away here. So this game going relatively, relatively well compared to last one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They have a six k gold lead at fourteen minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, they just barely got that 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 first play on that tower. Indeed. One second and later, resistance they lost is still it. On. So uh, we'll see. That is wards being cleared here from NIU. Ward scores looking much better than last game. Uh, they're actually winning in every lane in the ward scores. Uh, yeah, that's right. No, that is not showing on the screen. No. Oh, it's not. Okay. Nope. Uh, so anyway, sorry, just making sure that we saw what was on the screen correctly. Uh, that's going to be even more of a battle here. And once Nar has this advantage into the Orn, he's not gonna he's, be uh, going to be losing. He's going to go he's in for this. By himself, though. He's going to force his own flash out of this. But now going to be using he's the shockwave. Well done to that kind of bait that in. A lot of, and lot that's going to be the kill once again. Or now going to try to get this. And uh, he's going to get the knock up. But he might be able to keep going. Going to keep going is Orn and uh, or is Nar. Oh, I got the flash. be able to flash over that. So really huge. And they can steal that red buff. Man, that that conqueror does a lot of healing. He was taking the the full fourth of both champions. He was just able to sustain right through it with conqueror. Indeed. And uh, looks like. Now that's the mid lane turret going down. So this is three turrets to nothing, almost four when the bot lane gets taken. But NIU is going to position correctly here to make sure that they have that dragon yeah, when it spawns within the next minute. They should be resetting so going for those now. They, yes, indeed they are resetting. Going to take this bot lane, make sure that they have the ability to go for this yeah, dragon. It is going to be contested here. here as Nunu is walking his way down. But uh, he but is really weak. Nathan does not have his ult yet, but it is coming up soon. And same thing with Jeremy. They're both really close to being up. And uh, it's looking like Shane's just going to be here to stop uh, Orn from being here, uh, from being able to help with the TB. They both have it up, so they do both have TB. There is a chance that one of them will do it, but and it looks like Nunu is walking away from this, so they are just going to yeah, give it. They're up just going to give it up because they know they can't take the fight right now. Because if they try to take the fight now, they're just going to. They might be able to steal the dragon, but that would just probably get most of their team members killed trying it. And just look at that damage coming out from Nar. I mean, he doesn't even have the frozen mallet yet, and just doesn't, one doesn't need the frozen mallet. He's got all the damage he needs with Black Cleaver, shredding his armor, and then he's got the percent magic hit. 
percent health damage with his W. Indeed, as we thought, we do see Caitlyn finishing up that Infinity Edge first. Not what we'd uh, not what we'd necessarily expect, but you know, it is just going to be able to get that uh, full uh, Krug is new new by smiting. But yeah, as I was mentioning. Uh, we thought that we might see a Storm Razor start from Caitlyn, yeah, so well, Storm kind of from either of carries, but I wasn't expecting it coming out of. Uh, was not expecting Tristana to purchase one because she didn't go fleet forward. Indeed, so uh, there's no extra synergy there. Interesting, by um, though this could be this could be one with the uh, Kurtis shard coming out from. It's most likely going to be. The, oh, and that's the already item. caught out. He can't Wrong. go anywhere either. Yeah, he's see, he carry he can't help. Ooh, him. not able to land the shock wave. I think he might have hit it, but Jeremy also ulted. So well, they ulted at the same time and indeed. pulled him in the same direction. And this is another turret gonna go down in favor Should of the just field, uh, Oh, they're getting no, engaged they on. They are right gonna now. get engaged on by the Orn. Just he barely gonna just hit hits the one person. Nar, but and Nar's in Mega, so they can't even afford to go forward because if they do, Nar, they're just gonna Nar's slide just right gonna, into that wall. Indeed. Just gonna, you know, use his. Now he's gonna have the ability here as they take this turret. He will jump forward and he's gonna. He's gonna, throw he's gonna them gnar them back. back. Well done. They're gonna let the crazy goose go on this one, but Shane uh, might die here. Shane, Shane's just gonna heal up here. Oh no, God but, does not have the damage to kill him. No, oh, that's gonna be. Caitlyn are not gonna do not anything. Not even gonna be able to kill with that one. Gonna block it. And uh, despite Braun coming back up, he is already down. It looks to like they're going to go for that health. next Rift Herald that's spawning. In yes, a, in that a, looks like an just interesting spawned. choice to go for it. That could easily open up that base uh, this early into the game, as they already have two lanes that are down to the inhib turrets on uh, on this one. They do just reset. Doesn't look like they're going for that Rift Herald quite yet. I uh, want to make sure that they you know, have the safe options available to them. Let's see how this one's continued to go. Uh, we've got uh, we got this going on. Um, yeah, the uh, Diana is just going to be able to clear that control ward, and uh, we're going to continue to see now. Blue buff donated over to Oriana as expected, and twelve to three in terms of the kills, almost a ten thousand gold lead. And Oriana is going to start out that rift by Finally herself. So. Up. Just uh, making sure she had the blue buff to be able to do it, but they want to donate it over to her on uh, this one. Nunu not in position to stop this, so it will be an easy take from NIU. Yeah, they should be able to easily break the base with this Rift Herald, because the later Rift Herald does a lot of damage. Indeed it does. I uh, Gotta be now helped out with this one, so they just are waiting on this. And it will be given to Diana as we, you know, expected coming in. Uh, they're actually going to find oh, a wrong here. here. He's uh, already down. Well, he's not down to half health yet. I thought yeah, he'd take he a lot. He blocked the ball so he didn't get slowed. Bit. Indeed. We do see that Oriana's just going to throw that forward, see if she can't hit anything with yeah, the damage. She's got the double penetration right now, so she's doing a lot of damage to anyone who doesn't have any magic resistance. Indeed. Uh, we're going to continue to see how this one goes forward. Vlad, definitely not doing the same that he was doing last game. Now 0-2, and, two, and uh, Nunu, 0-5-3. So we expect that to be a similar type of execution to the Zac. Ease of execution probably is a, a big part of what happened there, but yeah, this is not the same uh, execution. As well as Orn, uh, same same deal where he's not got the same execution going on for him. So we'll continue to see how this one goes. Indeed, it was a Poggers Nar ultimate when he did so up in the top lane. Thank you guys for recognizing that. And uh, you know, throw if that was your play of the game, go ahead and throw that in chat, and we will you know feature that as the play of the game if that is what you think. Rift Tail is going to be dropped down in that bot lane, so it looks like they're just going to you know just wait for to this to take the turn tower instead of trying to go for one of the inhib ones. Warren is going to be there, so he might be able to stop this from going in, but uh, not going to be there to you know discourage any anything from happening. Uh, and it is going to be just you know a Rift Herald. Kind of a bait here. Going to try yeah. to come in with Oriana, and oh, indeed he it is. He's going to miss the root, but that's okay. As Oh, yeah, going to be forced to flash, flash the shockwave. So uh, this is going to be you know the turret going down in the bot lane, and uh, yeah, that's going to be gonna the entire, the all six now. of the outer turrets taken at this point in the game. And it's actually going to not quite not get, the get the charge, charge off. off. It looked close, but it did not get it off. So uh, good job by... 
Central Michigan, but look at the top lane as uh, this is just a monstrous wave hitting the yeah. turret and another one about to crash as well. So Warren is going to go up to clear this, but he's uh, at 50% health already, and that's just going to be the given up Dragon. So Dragon's evened out. Two clouds in favor of NIU, uh, one Infernal, one Ocean in favor of CMU, but kills nine in favor of NIU and almost a 10,000 gold lead at this point in the game. I think this one, maybe uh, you don't want to you don't want to call it before the fat lady sings, but uh, this one may be going to a game three at this point in the matchup. Uh, Red buff should have gone to Nar or Diana. That's that's all right. We they do see uh, Diana just finding herself caught here, but now able to get the stun here. Well that's done with the ulti. Uh, gonna be diving right back into the Nar or the or Warren route, route, but uh, ends up not being anything despite the flash from. Uh, they did the get the, the Braum exhaust. They do get the Braum exhaust, um, but they do have to expel the teleport and the flash for that as well. Looks like NIU is just going to position towards the mid lane once again, getting ready for that, this one. Uh, Shane went uh, Sterex Gage second instead of like Frozen Mal Frozen Mallet to just run down the Orn with. Indeed. So, uh, but interesting. There aren't any slows here quite yet. So we could see. Uh, you know, it doesn't look like anybody's positioning towards a Rylays or um, or that Frozen Mallet quite yet. So uh, with that. Um, with the Negatron Cloak as well as the Dagger, I'm wondering if we might be seeing a, um, if we might end up seeing a, uh, what, what am I thinking here? The Magic Resist uh, Attack Speed item. Um, Wit's End. Wit's End. Might be seeing that from a NAR here. Well, it looks like uh, he's going to start up Baron, but they're spotted by the uh, Skull Crab that just now went away. They are spotted by it. Now they're spotted and by that, that pink ward. But... Is not far enough into the pit. And there we go. Just dropped two more because they already messed up the first one. And so it is going to be, you know, it's going to be a 50 50, here. 50, it looks like. But, but it's Nunu. He's flashing Nunu in. Nunu flashes in and oh, does not get it, but he is going to die. Nathan gets the bear in. And, and the three man. This is now hard. already two dead. Could be three Oosh. here. That's going to be, you know, three, two. They're just going to go down yeah. the lane, it looks and like. So it's just going to be... Inhibitors. It's going to be the three for none. And, uh, yep, there's going to be some inhibitors gone. So Really inhibitors. lucky there from NIU getting that bear in with the Oriana ball. Indeed. Uh, well well done to at least get the flat... Or to at least get it in the smite fight. But uh, a little bit less... Uh, a little bit less than... 100% yeah, those, like they were uh, those cloud for. souls, their ults are almost all back up right now. Diana ult's probably like 20 seconds, and same thing with Oreo. Wow, already knocked out. So yeah, Hemaflag comes away. in, but oh, well, gnar. good Nar. And that's going to be, once again, from the Nar, going to be another kill. That's going to be Nunu going down. We're going to see once again, Caitlyn might be able to get one oh, out of Diana this. She gets... does get one, but uh, out of the Diana. But Orn's going to be run down. Uh, they're going to sit on the traps now. Caitlyn going to be hitting some headshots, it and uh, like that's going to force gonna back NIU away. out of this one. As now it's going to be a another three for one. Just Nar has been hitting these fantastic Nar alties. So I mean, we're we're looking fantastic uh, in the top lane matchup right now. I would not be surprised to see that being a ban for the next game. Um, yeah, well, it just really it really oh. counters uh, the CMU comp because all they have is. Uh, they have three big front lines that want to sit in front of their carries, and Nara's is just going to throw them away really easily because they're all stacked up on top of each other. So they got to figure out a better way to position for these fights where they all just don't get thrown in. So we did see a disconnect come through. Uh, looks like that was not long didn't enough to... Didn't even require yeah, a didn't pause. Didn't so. require a pause. Um, he is sitting around base, though, so it's interesting. We'll see Probably if Probably waiting he's... for some gold. Yep. He is coming out of base now, so uh, and we did see double R's, so we should be okay. Looking at the gold leads, interesting. Uh, can... Interestingly, still enough, the Caitlyn still has a gold lead on Tristana. She does indeed, uh, but there probably is a, due but to there the is fifty a, farm dis difference. Yeah, there, there is a five K gold lead between uh, top laners, and five K gold lane Ooh, or gold lead between you hate junglers. To see that, Vlad. Can't get his blue buff. It is going to reset on him, re leash. Uh, and now Nar's going to be following them. So we'll see exactly how this plays out. He Those doesn't. Shirelia's popped, but I don't know if they can catch them. 
We might be able to catch him now. Ooh, we got tagged by the boomerang. He's done. Indeed, the wit's end going to be landed here and dust. Uh, destroyed by yep. the NARQ. They're probably going to be able to get Dragon here now, too. So they're going to be one away from that soul. Not that the ocean or the cloud soul does a lot, but. And not that it. I don't anticipate this game lasting long enough for that to be. Uh, yeah, and now they're going to have even but... more ultimate CDR. So those huge team fight ultimates are just going to be up. What is interesting, a lot though, faster. is uh, with that 40%. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that Ranger does not have in any and... armor. So no. that Triss can just obliterate him. Oh. Wow. Big headshot there. Going to be. Almost instantly P killed by PCH that is going to take that, but, you know, that's going to be okay. 21 to 4 on this uh, game. So. This should be the closeout on this one. We'll see exactly. That is still uh, going to be the, the uh, horn. Yeah, it is going to be He's the one horn. Two people, you know, sounded. And uh, Space Ooh, Marine 18 was sitting there. Right uh, there. He he tanked about six turret shots before getting caught. So yeah, they didn't get the tower, idea. but they did get two thirds of that tower. So it's not going to be regenning anymore. No, past that one third marker. Correct. So once they come back in with probably another Baron, should be an easy cleanup for that tower. And that next Baron will spawn within the next uh, within the next two minutes, so we should be okay on that one, right? Oh, I don't we'll believe you can check. Oops. Yep, you're right. Uh, oh. You can't check in Spectator. It'll pop up eventually, though. It will. So, and it pops up at... Two Interestingly minutes, enough, so Caitlyn did go for a rune on Hurricane, which is a terrible item on Caitlyn now because she can't stack her headshots with mm -hmm. the rune on bolts. Correct. So she can really only get the benefit of hitting multiple team members at the same time. But NIU doesn't really have a huge front line. Their front line is Nar. So who are they going to, like, who is she trying to hit with those bolts? I like the, you know. I've been questioning it as we've gone, but you know, this game specifically has really, uh, really made me excited about the possibility of an enchanter support here. Uh, I think this bot lane has worked well with it. Yeah, interestingly um, enough, Jess does not have a uh, ardent sensor yet. She doesn't. She has the, the Athenes and the yeah. Shirelia's Reverie instead. Which, considering they have a, considering they have a Tristana, you'd think they'd prioritize that first over the Shirelia's. But. To give the credit where credit is due, it has been doing the work there, and the chase downs have been, you know, what we've needed so far in this game. So yeah. I think the Shirelia has, has been, you know, has its value that we've been seeing throughout this Looks game. Looks like so. they're just going to try to go for that Second, triple inhibitor. Yeah, triple inhib on this one. Once so. I get that, it should be just all but over. Indeed. Uh, so we're just going to wait on out that one. 14,000 the gold lead already in this game, so... Uh, should not be much for the world. Uh, one inhibitor is going to respawn, though. The mid lane is going to come back up. Uh, and while the CMU team does move down towards that to defend it, we'll see exactly how this goes. They are. So just going just gonna to have to give this inhibitor up because they can't really walk up. Nari's gonna, he's not close to the mega form yet, but if he gets to that point, it could be very dangerous for them to walk under them. It looks like and then you might just walk back to the Baron and either force them to fight them or just take it. Indeed. Runan's Caitlyn. Yeah. Thanks, Ricardo. That is indeed, we did point, I know, yeah, you're going to hear that in a second, but yes, uh, that's exactly the question we had uh, we had asked as well. Um, looking through this, it does look like we've got just a little bit more in this game. That's the second Baron oh, going to go over to IU. And the Shockwave is going to be able to grab two yeah, now. Actually, oh, the Caitlyn's going to be able to turn one around here. And uh, this is going to be actually right now uh, He's gonna get right off the Baron. one for one. Or one for none. Two for none. And they're going to actually have to give up the Baron here. Uh, uh, I don't know if they have to give it up, but they can't take it Or not, not give up, but give uh, up the take at this CMU point. CMU has to go back to their base. Those Indeed. minions are... Uh, Probably gonna take that tower soon, and and that Brom's very low. So yeah, there he is. Oh, oh my god! Right have here. to ooh, a little close have there. Have to shield that. So uh, once he puts up his door, you're you're not gonna get on through that one. So uh, he says no, and he locks the front door and places it up. So yeah, a little over aggressive there from uh, from Jeremy there, thinking he's tankier than he really is when he doesn't have that Zanyas yet. Winions are going to be able to grab one yeah, of those two Nexus tower, turrets, and actually uh, half health on that second that, one. That's so. one third of that tower gone permanently. So, uh, so if they leave their base again to try to contest Baron again, they might not be able to. Their base won't be able to survive the minions. The final, the final uh, Drake. Well, possibly second to final, but uh, 
that next Cloud Drake is going to spawn in in the next minute or so here. Yeah. Looks like NIU is setting up just to make sure that that's all ready for them. They don't really need that, so they that's don't need won't really it, give them but, that much uh, benefit. It looks like, you know, it looks like the possibility is um, for... CMU does look towards that Baron. They're going to move away towards it now and make sure that they go for the Drake. This might be a trade here where NIU gives up one of those Cloud Drakes for that Baron. I'd say that's probably a worthy trade. In yeah, because then they just take that third gonna, inhibitor and just they can't do anything once they have two supers. But instead, totally NIU is just going to you know zone them off of this Drake and going to finish off that soul. So already yeah, done. The soul. And there's Ooh, now, oh, that's a narr triple narr. Yeah. Actually, that's a quadra narr. And uh, that's and Caitlin be, just stop watches in the, in directly yeah. next to the entire team. I don't know what that was. Just waits on that one. Uh, now going to be the damage back. It's yeah, going to be a four, five, yeah, they just clean needed, ace, and that's going to be the game. And I, I you're not TPing in. Uh, so interesting, but not going to TP in. Just no, I mean, to just spend the game quicker. Yeah. And, yeah. and it within no you know, five seconds him. earlier. You know, yeah. so no going to stop him. Might as well. So nice and, uh, nice we and got good that there. Last and too. Well done. So. And are you going to take game two, and we're going to move into game three. Looks like uh, we, we don't know exactly what the side selection is going to look like, but we'll let you know when that comes out. We're going to take a slight break as we did before, and we'll be back with another game to move this series into match point.
Draven out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and we're going to be in Champ Select now. We didn't get the Pro Draft uh, link, so we're just doing it as we see it. So Draven and Silas were the bands, then Nivea once again. So pretty much similar uh, bands here. Lucian once again. Do we see... I mean, I assume you see the Nar, but no Diana. Oh, I think I read the Diana this time. Interesting. So Nar still left available. Zach also gone. That's what I was Same wondering if we'd from see. NIU. And a Aatrox. slight difference. They're going to go for not a tank this time. They're going to go for a more aggressive champion. And immediately their Necton yeah. picked up. Shane had a feeling that he wanted to play this matchup if this was given to him. And Olaf going to be the follow up to that. So, be or, much well, different immediately game. locked in. Because we're not on pro draft, so yeah. I should point that out. This could have been a, a well, you know, a long time. Interesting that one. they're going to do Karthus mid. That's Karthus something you mid, haven't yes. seen in a very long time. And Oriana going to be the follow up to that. So, uh, Nunu once again. Uh, Nunu did not look. I I struggle to say, That's but I they don't think Nunu. They banned yeah. Orn in the, the third round. Mm -hmm. and the second round bans, so they had to go for something different. Yep. And there was the Nar ban. Yeah, okay. they also banned the Nar, right? And the Mordekaiser, so really, they they were kind of limiting the top lane. Yeah, they did, but uh, they were limiting the champ pools here, I think, and trying to see something different. There's the Morgana once the again. Morgana, I don't know so, why they're that one Let's see so what that bot lane ended up being. This could be uh, interesting. Caitlyn was available, uh, as was Tristana, as was Kaisa, as that they everything is Tristan, Tristan, Tristan again, um, and then we'll see what this ends up being. that and then we do see the Kaisa once again so this is uh we're gonna see the winning winning 80 season both sides. Nautilus once again and is that Alistair maybe Alistair's gonna be the pickup wow so interesting indeed so this is a much different look from NIU not a very different look from uh CMU well, there's a lot of differences. There's no tank in the top lane this time. That's but. true. Aatrox, I always think of Aatrox because he's a bruiser as kind of tanky, but you're right. He's not a tank. He's not a that full lane. tank. He'll buy Correct. a lot of damage items before, mm -hmm. going full, before buying some tank items. And, and Karthus is going to go straight damage, too. Yeah. So, um, but immobile, so a very different type of uh, mm -hmm. mage there. Um, Kaisa, very mobile mage. Uh, Nunu. Didn't I, I, I want to say he didn't look great, didn't look great on that champion game. last game? He had a really bad maybe. start with that level uh, two flight. Indeed, that so that could have three kills for NIU. That could have been the big the big difference maker there. But we'll see exactly how this all plays out. Uh, we do see you know Oriana coming back. We're gonna run back the Tristana. Alistair's gonna be something different though. So a very different look to the bot lane. We have seen two uh, two you know. Uh, ranged, squishy support so far, and now we're going to see a tank played from NIU. Um, Oriana, you know, as we mentioned. Olaf for the uh, for PCH, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, early game, once again, another Feast or Famine jungler. Uh, and Renekton, you know, that, that works well into that Aatrox. With the shield break, uh, I mean, Nautilus has the shield. is going to have a shield when she ulties. Uh, Nunu's going to be able to get his shield when he ulties. And Aatrox, you know, with all the shielding available there, Renekton is going to be able to kind of break a lot of shields here if he's able to get the right cues. Except there's only shields on Nunu and Nautilus this game. Well, Kai'Sa Ultimate. Kai'Sa are as well, but that's very unlikely that'll break that. Mm. So, you know, there's... I, you're right, there... It might not be all the time, but it is an interesting mechanic to see how that ends up playing out. Um, Alistair is going to, you know, it's going to deny a lot of that Kaisa uh, if he can tank some of those damages. Excuse me. Um, but again, another team comp from NIU with the ability to run down and chase out people, uh, which is what they, you know, kind of did a lot of last game. So mm -hmm. we'll see if they're able to do the same thing. But again, another kind of protect the carries comp from Central Michigan. More of a front line, for, or less of a front line and more damage dealers for them, which is a valid uh, change to have made. But I'm interested to see how everything is going to play out on this one. 
uh, as we continue. What are your thoughts on this matchup so far, and uh, how do you think Game 3 is going to play out? Well, I think it's going to be very, very early game focus with um, a very aggressive early game jungler in Olaf and a very aggressive uh, top laner in Renekton. It's going to really come down to... Nunu is going to not be able to do a lot until he gets some levels, but they're probably going to have the same idea as what they had last time, just try to get dragons early. With the, the new new Q, the consume, and then just try to maybe this time they're going to try to focus more bot side because when they're playing around their top and mid, they're kind of getting uh, obliterated in those skirmishes early game. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one thing that they did very well game one was they were able to really play around bot side, whereas NIU's kind of spread their focus across the map throughout this series. Yeah. Uh, with 12 seconds left before we get into our delay. Our, our secondary delay. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll throw it over to the runes and that, but uh, we want to once again just give a, a great shout out to our sponsor here at NIU Esports over in traditional medicinal herbal teas. Uh, they, you know, they are our jersey sponsors this year as well as they are helping out with quite a few other things like our streaming rooms over in Hoffman Estates in Naperville. Another, another plug, if you guys are in the Hoffman Estates or Naperville area and you're looking for a gaming lounge to attend, feel free to check out NIU Esports Gaming Lounges at NIU Naperville and NIU Hoffman Estates. They're open Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 4 to, uh, to 10 p.m. on weekdays and from noon to 10 p.m. on those Saturdays. We're going to go ahead and wait on this one once this comes up. Interesting that it's... Is it pause? Okay, there we go. Oh, there it goes. But, uh, oh, okay. But, geez. Uh, anyway, so once we get into this game, we will go ahead and uh, let you guys wait it out on this one. Um, welcome back to the stream, Ricardo. Pleasure having you again. Apologize for having to, uh, you know, mute you for a minute. Um... As we continue, let's go ahead and give you, just so that we don't forget, we'll transition you over to the spectator client. And then, whoops, let me just, and then, all right. So let's go on through these runes once again. Conquerors up on the top lane as well as TPs. Uh, there is a stopwatch on the Tristana, so a little bit different there. Uh, press the attacks on both the 80 carries. As we expected, Karthus is going to be doing that Dark Harvest, whereas we are going to see the Summon Airy again from uh, Oriana and Space Marine 18. Aftershock from the Nunu again, and the uh, Conqueror again from Jeremy PCH. And uh, Tropical Kealoa is going to be taking the Aftershock on that Nautilus, as well as Aftershock for Jessica, the Urban Kitsune, on the Alistair. We're looking at uh, just about 20 seconds before we're able to show you the game. Then we will get on into this, and uh, we're looking forward to having a great Game 3. As you guys see up at the top, it is 1-1 to -one on the broadcast. In this game, we'll decide who's going to get that victory. And those precious points in the, uh, in the rankings, the games, all the games matter. There's only five of them in the regular season this year, so everything matters. And here we go. Looks like we've got this going on for us now. We do have uh, traditional starts all the way down. Uh, nothing of note here. Actually mirrored all the way down except for the uh, stopwatch over on the Tristana. So top lane, we're going to have a Dorn's Blade as well as a uh, as well as a health pot. We've got the um, Hunter's Talisman and the uh, the refillable potions there, and then we've got the the Dorn's Ring and the two pots there. Going to get a little damage onto the Nunu. This time he's not going to wait to place his ward. Uh, he's going to have been hit with the auto attack and just a little bit more poke. They are positioning three, four towards this, so uh, we'll see if he, if they are going to go for Jeremy. They are going to get the stun here and early 
Might force the flash. Yeah, are going to get the flash out of Jeremy there. So going to punish him for the uh, for the poke that... And a lot of know, damage on Nathan happen. as well. Yeah, and, and a lot of damage. So two, two backs coming through. Uh, Oriana actually going to stay. Not even use the potion. But uh, looks like Jeremy is going to reset and go over towards that bot lane leash. We'll see exactly how this all plays out. Olaf, a champion that can get caught early, so uh, interesting that his flash is going to be down for a while here. Uh, earlier leash getting out of there, but um, you know, actually pretty low, but once he has that consume, it's not going to matter as much. And just uh, the ward placed down by Aatrox in this one. And uh, well done to, to get a little bit of damage there. Oriana just going to poke out a little bit. Going to force um, Prime to use all his mana. Probably the biggest thing that he's looking to do here. Otherwise, uh, pretty even going through. A little bit of an advantage over to CMU, but as you'd expect, not much going on this early in the game. Earlier level 2 on the top lane does mean that magic is going to take a little bit of extra damage in that in that trade. Be able to get the slice and the dice all not quite yet. So we'll just continue to see how this all plays out. Uh, pretty much just the farming that we'd anticipate this early. What are you expecting to see? Uh, when do you think the first gank will come out, and where do you think that's going to end see, up being? I, I see right now that both junglers are on the, the top side of the map, so I'm thinking that it's possible that we might see a fight around the Scuttle Crab when it does spawn in another 30 seconds or so. Both team, uh, both junglers just seem to be clearing every camp but one. That's going to be a stun onto the Aatrox. That's a lot of damage there. He did he's consume gonna... all of his fury with that second slice and dice, though, so he didn't get that ex extended stun and damage, just the regular one. Indeed. Otherwise, I think that might have been Olaf coming up to finish or to help him out on that one, but Looks I'm like just going to continue. He's not going to try to contest the Scuttle Crab. He's just going to give that up and perhaps go for the bottom yeah. one or just go back to farming his own jungle. Mm-hmm. Looks like. Otherwise, we're just going to continue to see these uh, these pushed in. This might be a possibility of a dive here with um, the positioning of Olaf and how they are looking to go in here. Uh, he does back away from that, so it does not look like that's going to be it. But uh, that's going to be the slice and dice forward. Now the ooh, well done to get out of that one. So. That humble chain, as well as the third part of the queue. Uh, Bowling is getting kind of caught out of here, but they are going to walk away as they were stepping on a ward. Uh, they know now not to do so, so Alistair is going to roam back up towards the mid lane. Oh, this is going to be the gank on the mid lane. Was... This is the flash coming through. Oh, he from... threw his axe a little bit too far, so he couldn't pick it back up. Indeed. But yeah. they did force out his flash, as well as his exhaust, so that's pretty big. And It'll be it, easy to come back for another gank. Yes, a regank is very possible now on the mid lane, as well as... Jeremy's flash is almost back up at this point, so probably about a minute and a half on that one uh, before it's available again, and then we'll be able to see how he's able to use that. Uh, be a little bit more aggressive with that flash. That is a giant, or biggest snowball ever. It is just going to be let go through that bush. Uh, so we do know that Nunu's on the bot side here. He did walk over a ward. Uh, Alistair's going to get pulled, but going to get headbutted away. Uh, it does not the list, so... Just a little bit of a trade, and uh, we'll continue to see. Mountain Drake going to be the first one available. It is up right now. So this is going to be the trade. Oriana is out of mana, so just going to walk away at this one. And uh, forced to back away is Aatrox. So relatively easy, even across the map. Uh, gold even as well. Uh, but so very small gold lead for me. Just very about 100 or 200 gold. Indeed. And that's probably based on uh, looking down the map. Just the the minions are even. So literally just uh, looks just a like... very small amount of gold. Maybe mm -hmm. the top lane. Maybe the top lane indeed. So looks like they did... Uh, they are looking to maybe dive on this one. Not into the turret, but uh, just dive on top of them. But it doesn't turn into anything, and uh, it'll just be 
the continued fight here. And it looks like Karthus is waiting for some extra gold so he can finish up that catalyst. Probably going to be going for that real first item. Mm -hmm. Which is really helping Oriana as she had that wave stacked. So she's able to, uh, now that she's stayed. Does look like they're going to look for the first Drake here. They are all going to walk Maybe over Ward, so this might be. On the top be, side of the map, so. Yeah, he's recalling, so. Him, but it looks like he might decide to. Just go top lane, or maybe he's uh, gonna he's, stumble down mid lane. Run, yeah, run or down he's maybe. gonna go for an invade, one of the two. Probably the invade. He'll look to invade, but he won't really find anything on this one, so it'll end up being worth it for NIU. He might get a ward or two down, but NIU's gonna take that mountain drake to start it. That's actually the first first drake of the game or of the series that they've gotten, so well played to NIU for getting that one. Uh, that's gonna turn into as we check. The, real quick before we get the chance, it's going to be Cloud the second one. So it's so going to be really good, really huge soul for both teams, being the Infernal or the Ocean. Both of those are probably the two best souls. So whichever one spawns, both teams are going to really want to get it. Yes. So these these Drakes are going to be really contested as we go through the game. This is going to be a late game Drake fight, but no kills so far. This is actually the longest we've gone into any of the game. game for, we first, got going on. for first blood, we're just seeing a lot of farming. This is now going to be some damage onto the top lane, but it's not going to turn into anything. So we'll just slow that one down, and uh, it'll indeed go back to nothing. So we're continuing to fight through this one. We're about 400 gold ahead. Is NIU? Uh, to, to fluctuates between 100 and 500 depending on you know exactly where in the wave they are so looks like Renekton is just waiting out on something here on Aatrox looks like he might be setting up a bait indeed he is so he's gonna get the slice towards there and there's the stun the, and the dice have the fury, doesn't have though. Up, though, Ooh, so he gets the flash though yeah, he did get the flash he had a little so. bit more fury he probably could have killed him right there probably should have honestly should have like preemptively ulted just to stack that fury up. indeed so he could get the, the bigger stun. Indeed. That's what I was thinking on that one as well. A little bit of damage going back onto the Prime there on the uh, Karthus. Yeah, both, so. both mid laners have now received their, the, the second blue buff. So as is ceremoniously one. declared, it is so the mid laner's blue buff on this one. So, so uh, neither of them are going to be running out of mana anytime soon, which is pretty big for Karthus because he has a lot of... Uh, his abilities are really spammable. As as the same for Oriana. I mean, they both kind of need that for, to continue to just throw out abilities constantly. So, looks like uh, across the map, pretty even throughout. We're not seeing any distinctive gold leads or uh, any distinctive minion leads. Um, but we are going to continue. And no kills to speak of so far. So yeah, we may, for the first time this series, last until minute 10. When do you think uh, First Blood's going to come in? What, give, give me an estimate. What do you think? Uh, how about now? No, I'm no it's not no, now. No, not now. But uh, this will be, uh, this looks like a Rift Herald being taken. Yeah, Rift Herald's being so. started up. Nunu is, seems to just be uh, AFK farming. I don't know if Nunu's playing this game or uh, what's, you know, he's, I think he, uh, he's playing Farm Simulator for some reason. Yeah, so, I uh, mean, I... I want to keep it civil, but yes, he is he's, he's farming quite a bit in this one. So, uh, possibly though, that could be a counteraction to you know what was noticed last game, which was that he fell far behind, and so he wants to you know make sure that he's not falling behind by you know under farming too much. So, we'll see if that's exactly how that ends up playing out. But that is going to be Rift Herald finished by Jeremy. And so he's going to take that and now. Looks like he's going to move towards the top lane. He is going to get the uh, stun there. there. That's going to be the Conqueror. Three, That's yeah. actually all of them. But uh, he's going to be stunned back in. And uh, could be... Another mistake from Shane using all of his Fury to yeah, slice some dice and not on the... Uh, Missed the Q. Now it's going to be diving onto uh, the onto the Kaisa. This is probably going to try to just engage all Good R. Just, good job. So slicing and dicing it's back onto the Aatrox. Uh, this is not going to be a 2v2. This is going to be first and dead. second blood. Can he get the yes, axe? there he goes. He gets it. But, but and he's going to get out here. Too. Should be fine. He, oh, he just leveled up. That's mean. He just leveled up. So actually, that's going to be... They were close enough that they got the... Uh, they did get the... They should have gotten arrow. the plates and those two kills. Mm -hmm. That's really huge. Because Nathan also gets gets to free hit the mid tower and get plates and so as well as deny the CS there. And now that we see and we now see Shane going back up and getting more of those plates, so yeah, now we he see could take this entire turret if if he's lucky here. He is going to force the TP the out TP. from Aatrox, but, but he now does have a 1,000 gold lead, which is pretty big. And the jungler's got a 600 gold lead, and even mid's now at 500 gold because he was able to miss a whole minion wave or two. 
So that is indeed where NIU wants to be in this game so far, and uh, we'll see how this continues to play out. Yeah. Fortunately, though, Karthus was able to get his row. Uh, he did so get his row. So he gets row. to start stacking now rather than on his next back. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do see that Oriana was able to finish that uh, the... Uh, Luden's Echo. Luden's Echo, thank you. Um, so that's that's a full phage and a TMA and full boots for uh, for Renekton on that back. So he definitely has the advantage. One more component item over. Plus his boots are, well, they both have finished boots, but he's got his component item additionally with that and a red uh, control ward too. So looks like Drake did just spawn. That's going to be the cloud. So. NIU is positioning towards that one. It looks like uh, Jeremy is roaming down to make sure that they get this. Nunu's there, but it doesn't look like that's something they're willing to Interestingly enough, contest. Nathan yeah. didn't opt to hit that uh, Scryer's bloom there. just didn't deny them having that. Mm -hmm. But does look like, looks like they're just not even going to try to contest it again. Or maybe they're just going to go for the steal. Oh, here. they are going for the steal here. Yeah, and he is able to get it. He's going to get it. He's going to. Oh, at what cost? No, nice that, flash. And that's that going to force the flash from here. So. It might be able to keep going here. They are going to keep going on this slow, one. And, uh, force the flash. It is infernal, so that's uh, quite the Drake. And actually going to be the right tankiness there. Oh, and well that's a done huge with shock the wave. nice shockwave. And that's going to be NIU continuing to go forward. This is going to be, they're going to force the turret aggro. And Oriana's going to get and a double out of that. So that's now 5 nothing in terms of the kills. And uh, Slice and Dice, well done to get there. That's now going to be another set of turret plates. They got the Ocean Drake, but or the Cloud Drake, but at what cost? You know, well, they lose exactly three the cost kills of three kills. And they're losing another plate or two. Yeah, I mean, that was an two extra two. Kills. So, that's, yeah. That's really terrible decision there. I think they should have just either sent Nunu in alone. Or just not even tried to go for the steal. Mm -hmm. Well, I think they did send Nunu in alone. It was just the follow-up then when he got caught. Yeah, they should have um, just left him be. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of damage coming through. But, yeah, he uh, trucks hit every Q. Mm -hmm. So, 5 nothing. Here. There's a two-level experience lead between the junglers as well as a one-level lead for Tall. And, and that's, I think, what we saw last game was that Jeremy got way ahead on... Over the uh, over CMU's jungler in Why Fight Me, and we learned why he fought him, and that was because he was ahead and was able to continue to kill him. Yeah. Well, he had a much more aggressive jungler that game too. He did as well. Um, very uh, focused on fighting. Indeed, this one, this game is playing out very interesting. Uh, none at this point, just as an observation, none of CMU's players have died more than once, but none of them have died less than once either. Yeah. So they're all they're all they're all at one death. It's it's very, they're they're very uh, egalitarian here. They uh, they want to give one death each, and then you know they'll stay at one death for a while. Uh, it is going to be you know CMU going to have to disengage here. Really lucky red minion there, just yeah. blocking that hook for him, so he didn't have to take it. This is new new positioning uh, here. Just make lane. sure that this turret does not go down. Minions. Yeah. Yeah. Now that the plates are gone, it's a pretty easy turret kill there. NIU, just to point out, already has a 4.3 thousand gold lead. And uh, yeah, now they're just playing... I mean, they had a 6k gold lead at 14 minutes last game, so... Did they? Uh, I forgot about that one. You're right. It's not oh, that's, uh, that's going to oh, be Nunu found out. out and actually, this could be a dive a lot of HP. Here. He's got his ultimate, so this is just going to be the turret Should going down the and then turret, the fight. And then the Aatrox. There it goes. Oh, Ooh, that's well a turned. Lot of health. That's oh, a lot of health, but, but that's gonna also going to be a 2 for 1 So. Karthus does get it with the ultimate from afar, but uh, in the end doesn't little, really do A little over aggressive much. there from Jeremy trying to go for the tower dive before. Seeing Nunu there, I think they should have just stopped, uh, just waited until like, another time to get the tower mm -hmm. and just not risked it, but it still worked out in the end. It did work out, and they, uh, you know, it, I'd claim in the end it was worth as well, but, uh, you know, there was, you know. Getting that Karthus one kill is uh, not the person you want to be giving kills to. That's, that's also so. accurate. So. As we continue. It's that this Dark Artist like... proc, too. Mm. It's going to be doing a lot more damage with that R. Now you're now positioning forward here, trying to take this ward real quick. He's fighting over, fight over the, the wards bush. in the bush. Oh, Interesting. Uh, be, I didn't think that hook hit, but okay. I, yeah, that was 
That was the old hitbox, though. That was not the uh, the new one that they've adjusted. That's Should dead. Be dead here. Yeah, with that's the bomb, a dead Nautilus with the bomb. Oh, that's gonna be Crane oh, getting one more. That's the reset because he gets the reset. Now they're gonna keep going. Back out. Now they might dive turret here, as they do have the Renekton in there just to make sure that you know they should be able to get the from tower, and test. they're gonna get the uh, the Rift Herald. That's yes, this will be the second now. Rift Herald that they've gotten. We need a really, really second Rift Herald. No, oh, oh, well flashed to make sure the they didn't get that uh, that shock. That's a pretty big flash there. trade because now he has no way of getting out when he goes in. Mm-hmm. Looks like they're just going to be able to siege this down. They've got a lot of minions, but they're going to just back off. Looks like they might go towards mid lane and open it up there. Yeah, they might just drop the Rift Herald right away. Yep, yeah, that's... Oh, uh, he's going to back with it, so... Well, yeah, they, it looks like they just want to take it. Uh, with Yeah, with their ranged carries here. Should just be able to walk up and take it. Ooh... Uh, Shane's he needed one more hit on it. He probably could have hit it and then just killed Karthus. Understandably so, though, as he you know is trying to avoid. But he does get caught out in the end. He with might it, be able so. to survive for pretty long, though. He might be able to get it. Oh, oh. if he had ulti available, I, well, he did use the ulti. I, yeah. If he had it available just a little earlier, that might have been. We didn't take uh, a lot of damage before that fight happened. He might have been able to survive. Mm -hmm. He's taken a lot of damage. And that's going to be the headbutt. headbutt pulverize onto the Kai'Sa. That's going to be her caught out. That's going to be one, now two. Yep, two. Should and that's going to be a double kill. Third kill they might actually through. find this. And now that, they've got, yeah, now that they've got that, that's a nice uh, headbutt pulver. And that's going to be coming right back in. The last chain doesn't land to get no. the stun. So not going to be able to actually get Could that. Could have kept chasing, but they're just going to turn back for that dragon just to guarantee it. Aatrox said he had had enough of the cowbell. And so he just wanted to get away from that one. But... Uh, in the end, we are going to get we'll the Infernal Drake the onto the NIU. Anymore. So, 11 to 2. Once again, this is going to go heavily early game in favor of NIU. And uh, after game one, I, I don't think anybody was quite expecting to see how this game would end up going. But uh, this one is uh, quick. I mean, they went back. Uh, I don't know why they ran it back with that new, new pick. Because uh, it seems to be doing the exact same thing it was doing the last game. It does look that way. Um, we're going to continue to see, once again, that Oriana, I, Oriana and Tristana are really uh, Ori's putting in some work. Oriana's now got a 1,500 gold lead. And, uh, it, surprisingly, Renekton also has a 2K gold lead. As well as Tristana has 2K. So, yeah, and, I mean, and Aatrox has invested some of his gold into healing reduction, which is, I think, a mistake because Renekton does not have that much. Mm -hmm. Most of his healing comes from his, only from his Q as well as Conqueror. So I don't really think that was a worthy dis a worthy purchase yet. Not because it delays his other items as well. Indeed. Uh, so as we continue on here, it does look like this is just going to continue to be. Uh, what we didn't touch on is there's still a Rift Herald in the inventory for NIU. So yeah, it's going to time out pretty soon. It, it looks does, like he's so. uh, no, it's not dropping. It's just resetting. Oh, he's going to drop it now actually. So they're gonna drop it mid and then try to escort it in to see what they can't it's do. Like, uh, but they're gonna try to. Looks like they might Shane's force trying to steal one. the blue buff currently, which would be really huge to take that away from Karthus, because that would make him a lot weaker if he doesn't have all that mana. Region. They are gonna. Uh, they are just gonna, you know, walk on in here. If they can and get the next that, charge, that'd be huge. That is gonna be the second charge. They might be able to get it, but it's really low. It might just be able to get smited in midair. I don't know if it got charged. It, it did, did get, get the, the charge. Off, so wow, two thirds of its health bar, and that's going to be immediately Nautilus already Huge going Nautilus down here. Are. Now they're going to be able to dive back onto the Aatrox. He's going to turn one around. Oh, now he's going to be able away. to get away. Headbutt that's there. Unfortunate. That's going to be now. Uh, Alistair taking a lot of damage. Really low here is the new new, but he's going to get away here. So it's just going to be a one for one in the end. So one for one, all but the they did take two thirds off of the tower, which they, is still they pretty did. huge. Because if they have to, they ever come back here again, they can just kill really quickly with Tristana. Especially with that Baron spawning in just now. Uh, I mean, they can, they really have a good advantage onto that one. As well as this is going to be magic, maybe going down. Oh, and he does go down with that ultimate. So that R, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, immediately off cooldown and dead. So, big wave coming down that bot lane, but uh, Aatrox is going to clear that out, so we shouldn't have too much of a difference there on that one. Uh, we do see as this continues. Kaisa is going to back away, and uh, everybody's just going to reset, make sure that they don't lose any more tur any turrets, actually. But uh, 
And IU has not lost one quite yet this game, and uh, CMU and now down four turrets. Oriana going to go ahead and get that blue buff. Uh, very much needs that one to make sure she can spam her abilities as much as possible. Uh, we do see that... He's going to leave the control word there, interestingly. He well, is going to. And now he's, he's, he's going to go back, back and it. clear it. Yeah. Well, no, he no, wants to... No, see it. He must not have seen it on that one, but... Yeah. Ooh, he's eating some of those popcorn chicken taken from him. Yep. He went and he got those popcorn chickens from KFC. Or Popeyes, wherever you prefer. But, uh... Now Karthus this is going to be, be oh, Karthus, stop nice watch, stopwatch. It might just sure. delay his death. Hey, it's like they're not going to go for that it. One, so. Oh, because of the biggest snowball ever coming here. in. And, uh, he just gets ulted. going to be able to. There's a lot of health there. It looks like uh, Jess might be caught Head here. Headbutt here. So. But we do see Ori here, here now. So this might be a delay. Oh, and well done. Shock nice shockwave. Going to be one now, two. as That's a pulverizer wave. Another headbutt combo. Yeah, another headbutt pulp. And uh, that's okay, though, because now still, it's still one for zero. nothing. And NIU yeah, does have the Siege another, available uh, here. Renekton, what we didn't, what we haven't touched on is Renekton is currently just sieging on the bot lane. And he's yeah. going to be able to get one turn, oh, if not two. Well done really to get that. Ben yeah. Airy just finished him off. Mm -hmm. So now, now they should easily be able to get here, they should, Yeah, they can actually get all the outer turrets gone in this one and maybe even get an inhib turret. As they continue on, because they've got four just, men in the They top should line. probably just reset here, seeing as the dragon's about to spawn soon. But they're, gonna, they're just going to keep going because Karthus is dead. They do have a Tristana, so they're pretty good turret break. Good job by there to get the. Oh, oh that's going to be a stun back up. But yeah, are they going to be able to get oh, Kaisa's the Kaisa's Kaisa's really dead. dead already. So, and that's actually going to be. Ooh, so Ian's going, not going to be able to grab the reset. Around. Nice job getting the headbutt so once the again from Jessica. Out of there, so. But. We're gonna see how this one plays. It's like the mid tower. The mid tower's though, already gone. They left so it unattended. They're gonna now. They're gonna come right back and get that top lane in hip turret. So this one is uh, actually Ooh, a lot very of quickly. Already. Now here comes the here biggest comes snowball ever. Second snowball attempt. Let's see if this one's any better. Looks like uh, and uh, you see seems to be a little too deep, but he might be able to get the Aatrox kill if he. At he's the very least, he's delaying this for when they. Yeah, he uh, he's still alive. Oh my goodness! Yeah, he's they been just alive don't have so the long. damage. They don't, and that's going to be another kill. This, this might, might be actually over. be game. They should be able to at least get two inhibitors here. They are. They do look like they're no. They're just going to reset not going wave. Through the G two end it looks like. It does look like they're going to try to. You know, it might it's be a little bit two, much, but they're going to take two and reset on this one. Yeah, they're going to try to fall back to that dragon. Yeah, get that get infernal it. Drake. Jeremy's just respawned now. Or just got back to full health, so mm -hmm. he should run right there. Then they'll be one away from that huge soul, which will just should be able to easily just end out the game with that. Indeed. Looks like uh, this will be. Is this ten or twenty percent uh, it's AP? Eight, it's four percent per dragon. Four, oh, it's four percent now. Okay. So they're gonna have eight percent adaptive force. Interesting. So. So that's eight percent adaptive force for them, as well as. Uh, the additional damage against turrets and epic monsters, so they're just going to burn through these as they go. And Baron might be the next thing to look at here for them as they want to close out this game. Uh, well played to both Oriana and uh, so both Nathan and well, well played to everybody from NIU, but Oriana and uh, Tristana still not dying in this game. So yeah, you see these gold leads are getting out of control right now. Every lane is up about 2k gold at this point. Except for that support. Only Shane up two and a half in the top lane there, so. Which yeah, is now what, how you expect this. Lead, so. How you expect this matchup to go in the top lane, but. Uh, Garthus got his blue buff this time. He did get it. The question is can he do much with it? And the answer yeah, so far I mean, has been no. I know you should just go right to the Baron right here. They can't. And, and they're pinging on to it. Shane if is they currently try to contest, just they're going to lose their wave. third inhibitor. Mm -hmm. Shane's just contest or pushing a wave in to make sure that they can't contest this one, and uh, yeah, in the end, it's going to be Baron for an IU, and uh, we'll see exactly how this one plays out. So after an iffy game one, game two and three have looked much cleaner from an IU. They've uh, kind of figured out some of the things they were missing there, uh, but. It looks like they are going to continue to play this one out as well as possible here. Now they're taking that uh, 
Now they're playing Protect, protect Mr. Uh, Super Minion. Yeah, they and, should uh, just all be bottom and just take that third one and just should be able to easily close out with that third inhibitor. Looks like that's what the Roam looks to be doing. And oh, they look like they're pushing through the top, the mid lane, actually. So, uh, interesting they're choice of doing so. The, but they're going to the now base. catch this one through. Uh, going to get stunned is Jeremy. Oh, he got his buffer inter interrupted. That's Interrupt that's on good. the buffer. So Should that's actually going to be... Though. Yeah, he's going to back off. He, he's he's going to take survive. one more he's turret shot is the problem. To, uh, but Karthus, and now uh, now they're just going to run everybody down. Uh, this is... Uh, well, a little over aggressive. A little over die, aggressive, yes. But they should get the tower still. We got the supers on there. Ooh, almost got a mini there. But they're they're losing their towers. Like, that tower's dead. Indeed. And Way that's actually going to be... The inhib opened up for uh, Central Michigan. That, that was... Ooh, Nunu, that's that almost bad. a dead Nunu. Oh, he just get the consume now. off, so he's going to be fine. They did lose their... They're down to one tower left, though. Yes, one tower and one inhibitor. But fortunately, their, their inhibitors should be spawning soon. They should. Uh, not a minute or two. And I use save Baron on both Oriana and on Alistair too, so they should have it available for another siege if they'd they're like. Smart, they will just they'll probably just wait out for the next dragon, and then they'll have uh, the infernal soul for the next fight, and then just they'll just be able to just obliterate them with the extra damage they'll have. What we haven't seen is an Elder Drake so far this uh, yeah. this game, and I I don't think that at this level of competition we'll be seeing Elder Drakes very often, just because you got to wait for the soul to already be taken, and by the time the soul's taken, either some either somebody's really far ahead or uh, the game's back and forth enough that you know nobody has the chance to take it. Yeah, but that execution damage is very crazy on that one. Currently an 11,000 gold lead, as we've seen for a while. Ten turrets to nothing. That's something that is just now noticing to me. But, uh, yeah, that 10,000 gold lead is uh, very monstrous for them. And are you now looking to just siege down that mid lane, and they're going to continue pushing on through with four members here. Uh, as CMU just does continue to hold that one off. They do have Aatrox sitting on the inhibitor to make sure that that doesn't uh, go down as well, but they... I know you'd like to take that three inhibitors and just push with it. Yeah, they get that third inhibitor. It looks like the the inhibs are spawning though soon. As you can see on the mini map, there's no mm -hmm. more super minions coming down any of the lanes. That's a good point. So now that that uh, bottom lane inhibitor really is gonna really go, them. but they are gonna just roam around and take them as they go. It's coming in, but you know, really this is the oh, biggest number ever. Shockwave. Nice shockwave once again. Just Kaisa look at Kaisa. Yeah, how Kaisa's much is out yeah, of this fight? She's already it's done. Over. It's done. And that's game. That's gonna be NIU taking the series two to one. In the nice comeback there for them. Yeah, well played to NIU oh, you know, and to CMU. Up. GG. We wish everybody luck in the College League of Legends season this year. NIU is going to start it off with a win. And uh, good luck to everybody. Have a nice night. Uh, we'll talk to some of the players before we go tonight. But uh, well played to CMU and GG's all around as NIU takes the series 2-1 to one in reverse sweep fashion we're going to take a slight break while we wait and then we will go ahead and talk to some of the players of this series
to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Yeah.